Stars Live. I'm your host, Ellie Marie Watts. I'm Tori Diver. North Stars Live is back for Game 2 in this doubleheader weekend, this time against Perth Thunder. The Newcastle Rescue North Stars face CBR Brave in a top-of-the-table clash here at his last night. Brave proved too strong for the North Stars, defeating the home team 6-2. It was the North Stars' second loss of the season so far. Perth Thunder also had some bad luck last night, going down to the Sydney Bears at Macquarie in an overtime, uh, in overtime, 5-4. Toria, what kind of game do you think we're in for tonight? Oh, look, I think everyone's going to be hungry for a win. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Last night, obviously, um, both teams um, had a loss. Yep. Um, Perth Thunder have been very inconsistent this year. Yep. Um, so, for me, uh, they've had a couple of players um, that are now out of the lineup yep. as well. So, I think that, uh, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm actually quite concerned of you know, what we're going to see tonight. <laughs> um, but, you know, you never underestimate um, yep. the other team. Uh, they are coming... Uh, Second one, yeah. yeah. Um, but in saying that, you know they're, they're still in the race for finals in, in the group. Um, I think there's a group of five teams at the moment that are, are fairly close to the seven points between them. So. Yeah. So yeah, recapping a bit about uh, last night's game, uh, the North Stars were here at his. They faced CBR Rays for the first time. It was a top of the table clash. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was the Rays who came out on top quite comfortably too, six two. Um, yeah, we're having a bit of a chat afterwards with our coach, JFK, and yeah, yeah JFK was just saying, look, he, he stated it, he said it was not, they could, it wasn't a good game. Yeah, they didn't the play stars. to the level that they needed to, um, and one of his comments that, you know, I probably agree with is CBR have um, a reputation, um, they've got really good um, imports this year, uh, really good goals with that, so um, yeah, I think that that got to them a little bit as well. Well, talk to us a little bit more about um, the North Stars game last night, Tori. Um, we were talking a little bit before, and the, what was it? You know, five power play opportunities, and didn't wasn't well, able didn't to convert, convert on a, any of them. Yeah. Um, I think our first goal by Sammy Banger was a beauty, but it was a bit of a lucky shot too. Um, it was. Clemmy just came out a little bit too far, and mm-hmm. Sammy was just literally Sammy. able to bang it between Clemmy's. Uh, Dick and in straight into the net. Yeah. It was a beaut, but yeah, a bit of a luck shot there. And then Tommy Lander well, had to work almost all game to get a second goal. So yeah. yeah, it was a very tough game and the North Stars just weren't playing the way we've seen them play all season. That's right. And um, I had a look at the box um, box score and uh, it was 42 shots um, against 21. Oh, wow. So yeah, pretty much double. Double, double the shots. Wow. I was wondering how many uh, shots um, mm. Dane faced last night. Cause yeah, he huge. Was, he had a huge game. He was absolutely peppered in the first opening minute. So, yeah, yeah that's a huge difference. Yeah, massive. So, yeah, you know, I hope that they dust themselves off and yeah. um, <laughs> come out tonight and reset. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Well, that's what you're going to have to do. So, yeah, well, both teams are going to be really hungry for the three points. Because, um, yeah, like as we were mentioning before, the um, Thunder lost their game with um, Sydney Bears last yeah. night, 5-4 in overtime. And it was especially tough for Perth because they were leading 4-1 at the beginning of the third period, um, yeah. which is huge. The Bears came back for um, what scored three goals in the first five minutes of that period to tie the game, went to overtime. They played the overtime and in the final 20 sec- uh, 25 seconds, um, were able to score to claim the win, which yeah. would be absolutely heartbreaking. Definitely. And yeah, even t- even tougher, um, Louis Mar- Marcot and Andrew Cox are out for Perth Thunder today after receiving game misconducts at the end of the Bears game. So yeah, yeah that's um, a pretty big blow to them. But like Definitely. you said, like you can never rule anything out. We can speculate all we want. We don't know what they're going to be like out there. They might have a whole different hunger and focus yeah. you know really hungry for that win definitely out. especially after last night um and marcotte's one of their leading uh scorers yeah so uh yeah definitely it's a loss to them for that yeah um, absolutely but ne- yeah never underestimate well uh yeah like we mentioned before perth thunder are now seventh on the ladder uh, they've played 11 games had three wins um so yeah, not one of their greatest seasons, but they're still yeah. in it. Like they're still in it. We're yeah, only, definitely. We've only just moved into the second half of the season. No one's out. Yeah. Well, maybe with Adelaide having we start getting a strong run. Yeah, wins? Adelaide. They've only got one point at the moment, so I don't see them making making the finals. Um, Perth. Uh, yeah, as I said, second last, but 
there's such a big group yeah. and only seven points between them. I think that's still anyone's anyone's game. Anyone's game. Um, and yeah, Perth season this year is probably, you know, it's been an interesting one. They've been quite inconsistent. Um, 2014 was the last time that they didn't make the finals, mm. which, funny enough, North was Stars didn't North Stars, yeah. make that year either. Um, yeah, so they came seventh didn't make the finals uh, so yeah last year and the years before they've been second and third so you know they've had quite a good run so to see them this year I guess not doing what they normally do what everyone's used to <laughs> has, yeah. yeah yeah well the last time the North Stars and Thunder Met uh, was here yes uh, at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium on May 4 and the Stars won that game 5-3 so yeah it's gonna be an interesting game tonight I reckon yeah and funny uh, trivia for you but we actually played uh, Perth Thunder here exactly one year ago today. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, unfortunately, last year, Perth Thunder got all, like, they swept us with yep. a series, so they did win um, in a shootout that year. Funny, like, CBR <laughs> Brave also swept us in their game of four series uh, last year as well. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, <laughs> even with like, looking at this year, we're, we've turned the tides a little bit this yes, year. Yes, <laughs> we're a changed team. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we are indeed. Well, yeah, Perth Thunder actually had really strong representation at the AIHL All-Stars game and mm. skills um, last weekend. So Jamie Woodman was captain of Team South. Uh, Kevin Vio, um, who was MVP of the AIHL All-Stars. Nico Vixton, Rob Hazelhurst, Kieran Webster, and even their coach Dave Rock was coach of the team. So that's a really strong representation. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, North Stars Live, the North Stars Live crew was down um, in the AIHL All Stars at the weekend last Saturday, and we caught up with Rob Hazelhurst and Kevin Vio. Um, we'll roll that interview with uh, Rob Hazelhurst. Hi, it's Alyssa here at the AIHL All-Star Game. I'm here with Rob Hasselhurst. Team South unfortunately couldn't pull it off in the game, but it was close. How was it for you? Yeah, it was good. At least we made the game close. Like, it was 6 or 7-1 at one point, so we had a joke on the bench, you know, just a quick five goals, nothing special, but we actually managed to pull it off and, yeah, make an interesting game for the fans, so hopefully everybody enjoyed it. So you almost got in a fight with uh, Funes at the end of the third, which is a little bit of a size mismatch. What were you thinking? Yeah, well, honest, I had to stop because I just knew I'd hurt him, you know, because I'm just so much stronger than Funzi. So, you know, even though he has a full foot on me, like, it wasn't a competition, so I had to let him off the hook, you know. Maybe next time. Uh, obviously, we have the skills contest uh, coming up next, so while you guys may have lost the game, planning a comeback? Yeah, I, I think so. We have a good chance. Uh, Woodman's doing the fastest skater, so that's a lock, I reckon. And then, uh, yeah, a lot of other good skill guys out there. It'll be sweet. Yeah, he's definitely been waiting a couple of years for that one. And lastly, USA Canada tonight. Which team are you going for? Canada, 100% Canada. I'm half Canadian, so that's an uh, easy question. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, well, I love the uh, the chirping that was going on there. A head rub, a good old dance in the yep. background from Joey <laughs> Rezik. And a bit of an interview there from the side. I don't know who that I was, though. I don't know who so that was, yeah. didn't quite see his face. <laughs> and uh, also, yeah, Rob Hazelhurst, knowing he had to back off so before he didn't hurt Funes, he used yeah. it two times his size, mm -hmm. but bless him. But yeah, like I mentioned, we also um, as caught up with Kevin Vio um, after the AOHL All-Stars, who he was crowned MVP of the um, game. So yeah, here's that interview. My name's Alyssa Longmuir. I'm here at the AIHL All-Star Game with Team South MVP uh, Kevin Vu. How's your All-Star experience been? It was actually really good. Like we, we had fun and we met. I met some new friends. And uh, during the season we play against. You know, it's not like sometimes we don't like each other, but here it was a lot of fun. And uh, was a, so far everything's been great here. People taking care of us, and uh, it's it's a good experience. Uh, so, Team South, obviously you didn't win the game, but you had a great second period. Uh, what was the plan going into the third? Yeah, after, actually, after the first uh, first period, like, we, we we know it's a fun game, like, it's a, it's a fun day, like, we don't usually work that hard, but, like, we cannot let that happen, like, 6 not, six nothing like this, and then we just have a good second period, and during the third, like, just having fun and play the right way, and, uh, like I said, just, just having fun. Uh, and USA Canada Classic happening after this game. Uh, who are you hoping will win? Excuse me, can you repeat it? Sorry. Uh, USA Canada Classic happening after this. Who are you wanting to win, USA or Canada? Uh, 
obviously I'm from Canada, Canada I'm a Canadian, so I will I want the Canada to win for sure. Awesome, thanks for speaking to us. So something I've noticed in these interviews is that these guys are actually answering Elisa's question, who do you want to win? Last night, yes. no one wanted to answer that question. Yeah, it was definitely a very secret school. Yeah, it was. Last night. Yeah, these guys are a lot more open. Uh, all, yeah. all, for, all for Canada. Yeah. So much love for Canada. Yeah, definitely. And even last night, a lot of them were going for Canada. Canada, yeah. But yeah, it was really cool uh, you know, to catch up with him. Yeah. At the um, thing. And yeah, we'll see him out there tonight, which is really cool. Yes, I'm excited to see, see him play. We also, well, the North Stars Live crew, um, also caught up with Team North, uh, Team North? Yeah, Team North. Yes, Team North. Captain and Sydney Bears player Brian Funes at the All-Stars game. Let's roll that interview. Hi, I'm Alyssa Longmuir. I'm here at the AIHL All-Star game with the captain of the winning team, Team North, uh, Brian Funes. How was that game? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, it was uh, It was a lot of fun, uh, especially with the group of guys that we had. You know, uh, there's a lot of talent in that team. It was just easy to play with uh, guys that are talented. So you were a bit of a ring-in captain uh, with obviously actual captain uh, coming down with an injury. How was it gaining control of the team uh, with that, you know, last-minute leadership change? Oh, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, obviously that's uh, that's not a way how you want to kind of step up into that role, but, uh, you know, just taking uh, taking that opportunity and just running with it. You know, uh, Schlampy's a great great captain, great leader, and obviously we're going to be missing him in the, uh, in the locker room there and on the ice, but... Uh, you know, I just gotta just try and do it as best as I can <laughs> as a leader. Uh, obviously, you guys had a bit of a slump in the second period. How did you come back in the third and make sure that Team South definitely wasn't winning that? Uh, uh, yeah, we just kind of uh, just just stepped it up a little bit. You know, uh, we were kind of uh, blown out of the zone a bit there, kind of uh, getting it, uh, stuck a little bit too deep, and they were countering really well. Uh, so yeah, we're just a little bit more cautious of uh, their counter, and you know, once. Uh, we were playing a little bit more uh, sound defensively. We were able to get more chances, so yeah. Uh, and lastly, USA Canada Classic happening after this. Which team are you going for? Oh, I mean, I guess I guess Canada. <laughs> I used to live there, so I'll say Canada. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you for speaking for us. Uh, we will let you continue with your day. Thank you so much. Fiancé, a good standing captain. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Bless him. I um. Who was the captain before? Schlamp. Michael yeah, Schlamp. that's right. Yeah, Schlamp. How did, I think he got was it, he, uh, injury. He got an injury, and, yeah. Yeah, injury. So Fianzi steps in. I, th I think he did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just having a grand old time. Like That's what the All-Stars is and skills. Yeah. Some game, but having a grand old time with everyone. And another vote for Canada. Yes, indeed. Indeed. <laughs> I'm fairly certain everyone's voting Canada. I was voting for Canada. <laughs> Well, yeah, the um, guys played for the All-Star game before the Ice Hockey Classic and the USA-Canada Ice Hockey Classic was in Newcastle the week, uh, the Wednesday before, um, like last Wednesday, mm. and we were able to catch up with North Stars alum Zane Jones and Josh Harris. Zane Jones, Zane Train, you know, yeah. with us for two season, and Josh Harris, who was playing for Team Canada, uh, sorry, Team USA, Zane was playing for Team Canada. Uh, Josh Harris with us in 2016 when we last won the Cup, which was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was really exciting to see them both in Newcastle. Yeah, back just black playing, yep. even though they're in different different jerseys. Well, yeah, we caught up with Zane and Josh um, after the classic here in Newcastle, and um, let's uh, see the one with Zane. Hi everyone, Ellie Marie Watts here, and I'm joined by Zane Jones from Team Canada. How are you doing, Zane? I'm um, great. It's awesome to be back and seeing everyone. Yeah, so Zane Jones, I used to play for the Newcastle North Stars. You back here in Newcastle playing at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. How's it feel? Uh, it was awesome. Uh, definitely, it was nice to see a lot of fans that I've, I've, I've ran into the last couple of years. Uh, had a great time, and luckily. Uh, Canada beat USA, so no complaints. <laughs> it's a good way to kick off the tour. Yeah, phenomenal. I was, uh, I, I wanted, I, I was even more thrilled when I found out the, the first game was here, and pretty easy decision to come back. To come home. Yeah. yeah. So tell us why you joined the Ice Hockey Classic Tour this year. Um, well, I, I, I plan on not playing in the AIHL this year, uh, and I really want to see some family and two-week vacation playing hockey is never a bad thing so extremely <laughs> happy to be here yeah yeah that's excellent but not all smooth sailing you arrived in Australia without any of your gear how's that going for you um yeah I don't think I think I played hockey for 21 years let's say 
And I don't think I've ever skated on someone else's skates like that before. I was using uh, Sammy Banga's old skates. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I uh, didn't feel very good out there, but uh, l luckily chipped in for a goal. So no. Yeah, I was going to say, you got a goal, so yeah. you didn't okay. Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> Are you expecting your gear to arrive at all? Uh, yeah, supposedly it's still in Vancouver, and we'll get uh, for practice on Friday and then oh, play okay. Saturday. I'm really hoping. <laughs> There's nothing like playing in your own gear, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I, definitely. Yeah. And so, yeah, you're back in Australia. You, you did play for the North Stars for two, two seasons. But is there anything, I don't know, different or new you want to see this, this time around? Or are you just going to revisit some old sites that you enjoyed? Um, probably some old sites. Like last night, uh, well, uh, the first time ever I saw the Vivid Light Show. I've always heard about it. Oh, yeah. So I saw that last night. Uh, Opera House is beautiful as always. We're, we're staying down in Darling Harbour. Oh, so that's yeah. awesome. But. I'm just excited to see my family, to be totally honest. Yeah, I got two aunties uh, and, and their families here, and uh, we're going to link up ASAP. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, I saw something else you got to do. You got to play with a couple of professional netballers this week. <laughs> Talk to me about that, because I love netball. Um, yeah, I have. Uh, I think I've watched maybe one game here in Newcastle. Um, didn't really know any of the rules until today. I, uh, I had a wonderful time. Yeah. The, the uh, Sydney Giants. Yeah, GWS Giants. Yeah, I can do that. You're, you're a big fan? Yeah. yeah I, uh, no, I had a great time. I learned a lot. I uh, met two really cool girls. The, the, the captain of Team Australia. Yeah, I was going to say, you met Caitlin Bassett. Yeah. She's a Team Australia yeah. captain. Uh, she absolutely owned me. So, She's real good. <laughs> yeah, unreal. Yeah, so uh, I learned a lot, and it was a new experience. And actually, that's, that's probably number one on the trip so far. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, you get you get will you be sticking around in your car? for long or heading back up to Sydney um, soon? Yes, I'm going to stay overnight and hang out with Liam and Timmy, uh, my two best buddies here, and uh, we're going to hang out, maybe grab some dinner, I'm sure, uh, but then maybe train back tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. very nice. Well, I hope you have a great tour and it was great seeing you back in Newcastle. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> no worries. I always enjoy uh, interviewing Zane. It's just so lovely. And then there was a nice foot case of my two favourite sports colliding, not netball and hockey. Yeah. But yeah, the, his face change is like classic, you know. He's like, oh yeah, I'm going to go play netball. It'll be easy. And he's like, oh, it's not easy. <laughs> it's so funny. I think um, I really like that uh, you knew a lot. And yeah. he's like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, just just casually. I know who that is. Yes. Yeah. No, it was really good. And yeah, he was um, out there skating and we're like, we were all watching him. And he was like, oh, it's okay. so he looks a little bit off his game fair call too because you know he just like basically arrived in Australia and then we found out he had none of his gear at all yeah like he was skating on Sammy Banger's skates old skates he had a Amelia Matheson's gloves on like yeah, yeah that would not have been comfortable but he got a goal so yeah. that was pretty good definitely and yeah we also caught up with Josh Harris um he was playing for Team USA in the uh, ice hockey classic uh, tour um yeah so we'll roll that interview now Hi everyone, Ellie Marie Watts here. I'm joined by Josh Harris who plays for Team USA and a former Newcastle North Stars AIHL player back in Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. How's it feel to be back in Newcastle, Josh? Good, I love it. Love the city. I love seeing all the familiar faces. Everyone's so nice and welcoming. It's good to be back. Oh, beautiful. And yeah, so you're in Newcastle, you've just played the exhibition game, um, one of a couple you'll be playing on the Ice Hockey Classic Tour. Tell us why you joined the Ice Hockey Classic this year. It's too good of an opportunity not to do it. Come to a beautiful country and uh, a lot of good players out there, so everyone's out there having a good time. Is this the first time you've played with well, any all these players, or have you played with a couple before? Uh, I played with one guy. That's uh, <laughs> That was my contact in, so it's, it's been fun meeting all the new guys. Everyone's nice. Well, that's really good. Yeah. What's it like playing out there with a whole bunch of new guys? Like you, you guys wouldn't have practiced. Was there a bit of a weird situation gelling or you just got to it? No, we've all played hockey long enough. We all know the drill. Yeah. Everyone's new, but we all have the same guidelines. So. Yeah, and you got a goal tonight. Uh, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> is, is it good to kick off the, the tour with a bit of a goal? Yeah, good to score back in the home rink. Yeah. <laughs> Is it so nice to see a couple of yeah familiar faces uh, oh, yeah. off the ice as well? Oh yeah, a bunch of the guys are here. Hope uh, hope to see some tonight. See yeah. some more. And how long are you in uh, Australia for? Are you going home straight after the tour? Or are you gonna have a bit of a, a bit of a tour around yourself? No, just the two weeks and uh, back home. Out of work. Any particular sites or places you want to visit this time? Um, or revisit? <laughs> revisit a lot of things for sure. Yeah. I loved everything that I was out here last time. 
Melbourne's a great city. It's so artsy. Yeah. I like to just bike around. Yeah. See all the cool sights. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Josh, and have a great rest of the tour. Thank you. No worries. Thanks. I have to say, he has to developed a really quite a luscious beard. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a quality interview, but uh, yeah, luscious beard. Yes, uh, it was funny when we were watching on the ice, and I was like, oh look, that is Josh. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are hair. On, yeah, it sounds like the guys are on the ice now, warming up. Well, we're going to cross to Peter Lambert in the commentary booth. Say, uh, Pete, how's it looking up there? Hi, hey, Ali. Going good up here. How are you down there? <laughs> I'm good. We're good. So, yeah, what kind of game do you think we're in for tonight? Uh... It should be interesting. Both teams on rebound uh, both lost last night. Um, uh, Thunder, uh, they're down a couple of players, so they're going to have a short bench. So I think they're going to have to go out hard and, and try and get a few points on North Stars and make North yeah. Stars chase. Um, look, um, North Stars, uh, I think they'll shake off last night pretty quickly. It wasn't a terrible game for them, but it wasn't their best. So yep. I think the, it's, it's nice when you come out just the next day and you can try and play your best game. So uh, I think they'll be going pretty well today. Um, it's going to be tough for the Thunder missing a couple of players. So I saw that Andrew Cox and Luke Mark Cox have both been cut. So they're going to rely a lot on on uh, Vixton and, get, and Matt and Kevin Velo and D to move their team forward. So uh, we'll have to watch how they go and, and uh, see if we can get a close game. We're still waiting for our first OT here, but I won't wish it on the guys. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, definitely. And who's in the commentary booth with you today, Pete? I have uh, one Stephen Lindsay here again oh. with me. And uh, Gary's usually here by two. So. <laughs> Hi, Steve. <laughs> yeah, Stephen's here. So we'll soon uh, hear your lovely voice. Yeah, you got the old blokes today. See you later. Alrighty, we'll leave you to it. Okay, well, it looks like we're wrapping up uh, warm up, <laughs> wrapping up warm up, and uh, get it underway real soon. So we'll leave you, uh, leave you to it. Sorry, <laughs> we'll leave you to it, and we're just. Going, oh gosh, I'm having a moment. Sorry, senior moment. Thank you for tuning in to the North Stars Live pregame show. Stick around for the period breaks, for some bench side interviews, and for the post game show. Bye for now. From Hunter Ice Skating Stadium in Newcastle, this is AIHL TV. The regular season is brought to you by Air Canada, who offer the only daily and non-stop service to Vancouver. For details, visit aircanada.com.au. Owners, owner of direct infrastructure investor with a portfolio worth in excess of $50 billion. ATC Productions, your live event technical provider. And APA Group. Delivering Australia's energy. To Hunter Ice Skating Stadium tonight for this Australian Ice Hockey League clash between the Newcastle North Stars and the Perth Thunder. Peter Lambert here with me. <laughs> I'm having a great day. Let's Stephen go with Stephen Lindsay. Lindsay. See how we go. See if that uh, works. I think about Lyndon Lodge. Uh, I've just written down for the Perth Thunder. So welcome, Steve. Fantastic to be here again. It? That's right. Well done, Peter. Just wonderful to be here. Two, two games in a row. Last night's wonderful game uh, against the Brave. I mean, not the result, of course, that the North Stars wanted, but the quality of the game was pretty intense. Yeah. And looking forward to another good one tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, last night we saw some great skills, some great pace. Um, we saw... I think we saw Brave put on uh, w w what we hope is their best game. 
Uh, we did see the North Stars put in their best game, but it wasn't ter terrible either. So what's good for the North Stars is that they have room for improvement. They've, oh, absolutely. They've learned lessons, and that's what losses are great for, is to teach you a lesson. Absolutely. To give you and opportunity I mean, to improve. I mean, if you're going to play a game that you're not proud of, you would rather do it now yeah. rather than doing it on grand final night or something like that. Absolutely, so yeah. uh, Now's uh, when you learn your lessons. Correct. And certainly there would have been a lot of lessons learned just talking to Coach Kennedy, after the game, uh, there's lots of things that they took from that game that they can certainly improve on in practice uh, coming up this week so that uh, the next time they'll be ready when they do play the Brave. But, geez, they're a quick team, a yes. really quick team. Yeah, pretty amazing. And it'll be interesting to see how well the North Stars bounce back now for tonight's game because I know, again, Coach Kennedy's been spending a lot of time on fitness with mm -hmm. the team this year to make sure they're ready to play a lot of doubleheaders because they had a lot of doubleheaders at the beginning of the season. Yeah. And, of course, this uh, doubleheader again tonight is going to stretch their fitness, and uh, I think they'll be ready for it. Well, uh, they're in the same boat, though, as Perth Thunder, who Absolutely. played last night against the Bears. They had a tough game. It went into OT, yep. and the Bears got that one in OT. Um, but they had a uh, – I haven't got the, the box sheet yet from last night or a score sheet, but I have been informed they had uh, two players get game misconducts at the end of the game, mm -hmm. which, of course, carry over to tonight. So yep. we're, they're out without Andrew Cox and Louis McCott. It'll make a big difference, there's no doubt about that. Uh, to the per they're, they're both quality players and they're both experienced players as well too that have been with the team for a while. Oh, yeah. Now. Andrew Cox is pretty close to being an import level. Co yeah. Correct, exactly. And uh, So they'll, they'll definitely miss them, uh, whereas the North Stars, I believe, are complete. Uh, yeah, I don't know of anyone. No. As far as I know, everyone's along. Oh, Tim Stanger, of course, yes. Yeah. Well, that's um, a uh, LTO, long-term injury. It is a long-term yeah. injury, yeah. Long-term injury of upper body. <laughs> How's that for specifics? Well, he's been talking about his shoulder getting better last night, so the cat's out of the bag on that. <laughs> uh, but uh, we've got Linda Lodge and Sean Hamilton also in the lineup that I've got here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I think they've, got a, they've still got a good side. Uh, they've, they've got three of their four imports playing tonight, uh, and they should give us a great show. So we're looking forward to a good hockey game here. Absolutely. They'll be wanting to get points out of this. And they get the one point last night whilst it's good. Uh, they'll be wanting a lot more than that. I mean, if you're going to make this effort to come from the west all the way over the east, you want to be grabbing as many points as you can. Points, well, they got one last night. They're, hope, they're hoping for three tonight. Yep. Uh, they need it because they're in a really tight race with Ice, Ice Dogs, Bears, Mustangs. There's five teams all in the hunt for the, the two uh, spots, three and four, assuming that North Stars and Braves don't suddenly die. Well, certainly the league has formed that, haven't it? There's mm. two uh, um, uh, fantastic battles between the Brave and the North Stars for yep. that top position. And then really, I uh, don't want to sound rude, the rest, battling for that uh, third and fourth position. Oh, we were in that rest last year. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Exactly right. I think I'm pretty comfortable the Avalanche may not uh, be able to come back and make themselves available. Yeah, I, said the I said the adrenaline. I said the adrenaline. so sick It's of only been 11 years. We're still getting used to oh, it. Yeah. I'll tell you. One day I'm going to get it right. Hmm. Uh, so... Um, for tonight, we've got... Uh, actually, I was wondering if we we're going to play Charlie Smart tonight. I haven't turned around yet to have a look and see if he's in net or not. Uh, but I was, I was talking to Charlie last night. I said, oh, you, you're starting tomorrow night? He said, I'm not sure yet. So um, I, I think it's a great opportunity to get Charlie in. Um, and uh, I'm sure he'd love it. Uh, he's come from Perth. Uh, Perth boy, so he'd love to play against those guys. Oh, of course he would, absolutely. Yeah. But you can't take anything away from Dane Davis. That man was just no. on fire last night. Had a brilliant game, and he certainly kept the North Stars in it for a long time. And uh, Maybe the weight of shots in the end got to, so the scoreline went to where it went, but he definitely kept them in the game, and uh, it was just wonderful to watch him because, I mean, he, he was so square, he was so quick. His reflexes were wonderful. He had the puck control. There was no re he had the rebound control. I mean... Really, it was a complete game. And it you was. think, well, hang on, the six goals were scored. But no, he yeah. really had a fantastic game. He uh, prevented probably another six. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> a lot of the, odd men rushes. The Brave were dominant. There's yes. no doubt about yes. that. The Brave were dominant. Good lessons to be learned. Yeah. So uh, we don't have Candice Tan singing tonight's national anthem. I've heard that. So uh, uh, we'll just be playing the music tonight. It's something we, it's a luxury we've enjoyed quite a lot, is having, uh, having the anthem sung for us live here at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. So, uh, the other results last night, um, we had the Ice Dogs being the Adrenaline in Adelaide. Uh, I think it was 4-1 in the end. Uh, as we talked about, the Thunder and Bears. Bears won that at an OT in the last 30 seconds of the game. Before it went to shootout, that is. 
yeah. and then the other game was Melbourne. Uh, the Melbourne Ice defeated the Mustangs three or two in Melbourne. So, uh, what that's done, Steve, is we've actually got the teams that have been that were in you know, six and seven starting to improve, and teams yes. that were in you know, three, four, five have, have dropped a few games. So now we've got this second bunch where there's five teams like we had last year. Yep. Uh, battling over the, the last two spots, assuming, again, yeah. that top two don't drop the fall. Well, most teams will be looking to see who still has to play the adrenaline because you'd have to think that they'd be, without being rude, pretty easy points to get, and that's going to push them up the ladder. And uh, unless, of course, something happens with the adrenaline, they pick some players up, a goaltender or whatever, but uh, at this stage, they would be points that they would consider to be relatively easy, and certainly the dogs would have enjoyed the grabbing those last night. Yes, we'll see how they go tonight. Uh, we've got uh, just the one game against Adrenaline left. We? Yeah, one more. Um, but because we already, uh, we've already played them down there. Yep. Uh, I don't think oh, you can't take them too easily. There's no easy games. There's just, no easy games. Just that one might be easier than some of the others. This is. Uh, I really like what I. I'm a big fan of actually a lot of the. And I'm not being facetious about it. I'm not sure. I am a big fan of a lot of the young players that they have there. Mm. Uh, I saw some of these guys play up here in tournaments before, and, yep. and, and bantam tournaments and midgets and so on. And I got there are some guys here that really impressed me. Oh. And I wish they were part of our system. <laughs> Zach Boyle, Jack Riley, the McGuinness boys. I mean, you know, they've, Ryan Fold, yeah, they've, yeah. they've got lots of talent down there. There's yep. no doubt about that. Uh, and they'll take a little while to develop and come through, um, as it took with the North Stars, because now you've got uh, uh, guys like Liam Manwaring, regular shifts. Um, uh, they've had over the time Matt Wittini, Tim Stanger, Hamish Powell, Matt Lindsay. I mean, there's heaps of the guys that have come through our system. So it's and it's a great system to give these guys the opportunity to play at the AIHL at the top level, which the North Stars are at, is is fantastic. Uh, I was t- uh, speaking of Hamish Powell, I was talking to Alyssa Longmuir last night over dinner, and uh, after, you know, we all met up after the game and um, talking about stats. And most of it she keeps just between her and JFK. Mm-hmm. But she was talking about Hamish Powell, um, that she keeps track of a lot of secondary things. And he's one of the best performing in the team. And things just like in his effort and that sort of stuff. And things that relate to entries and, and exits and that sort of stuff. So Excellent. It just shows little things you may not see from you know, goal score, yes. assists, or, or penalties, or the really obvious things. Yep. Uh, from those universal stats. Aside from that, he's actually far more valuable than you would than you would realise. Yeah. And, and that's that's what you really need a, a real talent scout for, a real really good coach to pick out. Yeah, it was interesting talking to Hamish after the game about how he had the puck at the middle ice and made a rush up the ice and he got to the Canberra blue line and he didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> Never been there before. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. So I'm guessing Dane's starting, he's down in net and Charlie's on the blue line. And I was picked to go to Vixton. Take the net for the Thunder. And certainly they only have 12 skaters resting on the blue line, so indubitably they're going to uh, be hoping to push the North Stars early and then just hang on. Pausing for the National Anthem. Jeff Scott, I see there with the helmet, with the stripes tonight. It's Certainly looks like him, doesn't it? You've got your specs on. I do have my specs. long distance glasses on, and yes, it is referee Jeff, Jeff Scott. Scott on, on the so second night up here in Newcastle. I was here last night for the game.
Lincoln Polar and Nick Air on the lines, uh, as they usually are. They're a couple of local guys. Oh, well, Nick's from Central Coast. <laughs> That's pretty local, mate. We'll local go with enough. local. Well, he doesn't get uh, he doesn't get paid travel, which he tells me is a sore point for him. <laughs> I tell him he doesn't have to pay any tolls. I mean, look, an hour up here, if he was in Sydney, if you go on one side of Sydney or the other, it'd be an hour and a half. Well, look, the good thing about uh, Daniel and Nick is they've been consistent all year, and we drop a uh, stripes in the middle, and really, it, it doesn't make any difference. We're still going to get the uh, quality on the lines that we've been getting all season, so it's good that we've been able to handle that. And you're right, Biskin is definitely in the net for the Perth Thunder. And Dane Davis at the other end. So Jeff Scott has the puck. We're about to get started on this, on this game. This Australian Ice Hockey League game, Kevin Velo is taking the face off. Actually, I asked him how to pronounce his name. When he went to get a coffee today, he confirmed it is Velo. Velo. EAU is usually O in French, as in water, O. Quickly in thunder on the attack. Carrying the puck right now is Webster. North Stars get it back there on the counter. Into the zone, they come. Waits up, takes a shot through the screen, and. A blocker, blocker in save into the netting there off the shot of Richard Tesserick. Yeah, Tesserick going trying to go top shelf there. Just watching below out there on the ice. I mean, if the guy's any taller, he'd be scratching the top of the ceiling. So uh, he certainly is a big unit. Yeah, 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, something like that. And he's also quite solid too. He's a friendly guy though. He's happy to talk to me for the game. As pretty much all hockey players are, honestly. Phillips unloads the puck. Goes through some new bangers. So it's picked up by Hazelhurst, who... Played here last year, always with a smile on Rob's face. Yeah, it's interesting Coach Kennedy has gone with a different setup tonight and putting the number one line out there immediately right from the word go. He's been using checking on. lines a lot. Well, he's trying to put some pressure on the Thunder immediately right from the word go. That's a, that's a good idea. It's out of the zone and the Thunder get the puck back in. They're moving the puck quite nicely right now. I think they're playing with a bit of energy, so maybe they listen to me and they're trying to get some points up quickly. So it makes it harder for the North Stars to chase. The North Stars will have a full lineup. They've got three lines to use, and with a shorter bench of two, two and a half for the Thunder, they could tire later in the game. Kent's in front. Puck has bounced and gone to the North Stars, and they're going to break out of their zone. Into the zone now. Simpson's getting onto it, looking inside. He's got Phillips is pinching. It's off the back of the net and picked up by Manwaring, who had a cracker game last night. Been playing really well. In front. Ooh. Shot, and it's just wide. I think it deflected off a stick, and out of the zone it goes. Picked up by the North Stars D. Forward goes, and bad pass, picked off there by number 20, Sean Hamilton. Phillips will be wondering how that didn't go in. He had the corner all picked and everything there. That looked pretty good. Most those have to get onside, and the Thunder will carry that puck. Mann, nice buoyed shot off the boards. It's gone through the man, though, and so it's getting on with Lyndon Lodge, who will send it in, and Southwood to it first. He wins that battle, but uh, North Star still trying to break out. A good forechecking pressure by the Thunder. First couple of minutes down here at Honda Rice Gaining Stadium. That's something you don't see real often. Coach, sorry, uh, Captain Malloy was caught there with the puck. In good the attempt on net there, Thunder, and smothered by Davis. And he normally wins all his battles because he's so strong out there on the ice. So that was interesting that he couldn't actually win that. And certainly the Thunder have come out at 100 mile an hour trying to make sure that uh, there's... The pressure stays in the North Star end and 200 feet away from their own goal. Face off to the left of Davis. Castle win that on second attempt and went behind, but Thunder already in the control, carrying the puck right now. Circling around, hands it inside as Velo. And it's stopped by Davis. At 12.31 left in the first. So Thunder are running two lines at the start of this, uh, whilst the North Stars are running three. So, as I sort of thought, they're trying to put pressure on the North Stars and get maybe a goal or two so they can then hang on. So, interesting to see the strategy works. Around the boards, that goes. Castle chasing the puck into the corner. Sneaking in is Richard Tesserick between the circles. And that's out of the zone, so some pressure on Phillips. And he unloads it for Simpson. Back it goes. Newcastle move it quickly to avoid Thunder controlling that in their end. Got numbers coming in. But good defence by Hazelhurst and Velo. Two very different sized players. Well, Tesserick knocked that out of the air with a really good skilled play, but the referee has decided that was too high, so it's a high stick, so it'll come outside the zone now. 
But great skill there by Tasserick to knock that out of the air and try and keep it into the, into the thunder zone. Face off. North Stars have it, carrying the puck right now. Dumped in. Ah, look who's got a shift. Mm -hmm. It's uh, young Tommy Clinic. I thought I didn't recognise that semi moustache. That's why it's teenager from Brisbane, Tommy Clinic. Pushed forward there by Sean Tavern, chasing the puck into the corner. Clinic's got some pressure on now. Could be his first shift. I think it is, my friend. I think it is. Well, congrats to Tommy Clinic. First AHL shift. In the corner. Anger working with Jane Ryan. We've got two Thunder in now to dig it out. And good on him. He's on and off quickly. Tobin <laughs> carries it. He's yeah. Ferrari back on. I think, uh, from what I saw, he handled the puck very nicely there. Ooh. Made a good breakout pass. Confidence. Well, Confidence. You always want your first shift to be a good one. Well, I think he had that, so well done to him. And we've had it confirmed it was his first shift. He's on the boards now. Marked being in the game. The North Stars might be running six defense tonight, that's what it seems to be like. Uh, normally they've been running five, but uh, introducing him into the game looks like they might be running six. Which will help it, help at the back end. Face off to the left, right of Davis, and one by the North Stars. Uh, it's time to retrieve. Yeah, he's the hearse, moves it around behind the net. Out to the point man. Long shot on net and pushed aside there by Dane Davis. And he blockers the, blockers the puck into the corner. This is the part of the game the North Stars struggled a bit with last night as well too, getting the puck out of their zone. They did. And winning the battles. And Thunder are doing a good job of putting them down at the moment. Redirected Ooh. Tampa. That was a good one, but uh, I think Davis got a piece of it. Ben Bro there with the uh, clever stick. Phillips onto it. Row behind him. Off the boards. Kept in. No, not kept in by, by Hazelhurst. But quickly onto the puck. And carry it with speed as he can do. Goes wide. Gets around Ferrari. Moves in on net. Goes behind. Centers. Now, tied up. Can't get it away. So he ended up losing the battle there. Here we go. Using this is his chance for the North Stars carry in. Goes to three. And stolen. Puck stolen by Jamie Woodman. Jamie Woodman. What no. a. What a defensive move when you just take the puck off the stick. No wonder he went for the fastest skater. That was unbelievably quick. Simpson creeps it in. Gets it to Lander. Nice shot in front. Saved with Vixton. Vixton's pads there. Tesserick got the, the puck away. Simpson skating onto it in the neutral zone. <laughs> it's in Boris takes. Puck bouncing around. Loose right now. Into the zone go the Thunder. Carrying his lodge. Around the boards it goes, out the other side. Woodman. It's off some chin guards, and we've got a foot race to the puck. That's Rick holds back. And ought to keep it in the zone for the North Stars there versus the Thunder D. Woodman carries the puck. Hazelhurst dumps it in and gets off. No, it's not Hazelhurst, pardon me. That was Jake Ruck. Driving towards the net. Trollet tries the short side. Ooh. And we've got a player in the net, out of the net. Yeah, Powell yeah. driving the net. And Vixen's okay. Powell's okay. And the net's okay. Well, it'd have to be Hamish Powell driving the net with speed. That's what he's so good at. And that's what he's on the ice for. Just unfortunately lost an edge. And uh, luckily, no one's hurt. Everyone's good. Just, uh... Got Hazelhurst in the box for two minutes. Uh, Dane Davis in his usual position, uh, relaxing on the net. Uh, we want to say happy birthday to Willow Davis too this week, his daughter. I believe she's watching, so happy birthday, Willow. <laughs> Shot on net, redirect and a save. By, well, if it wasn't Vixen, it was the defense there of Bro. Bro clears it out, clears it out. Goes back to North Star's defense. Oh, nice move. Into the zone with a nice move by Phillips. He peels off and goes back to the blue line. Carrying the puck right now. Drolet gets it to Banger. Naden in front. And a save there by Vixton if Naden gets a touch on it. Good work there by Naden to make himself available in front of the net. He get everything on it. 
Once he gets it in, it's shut away, but uh, Nostas D will pick it up and carry it as the rest of the Thunder were changing. Vixen out of his net, plays it, plays it well, gets it out of the zone, and Nostas will control the puck. So it's been a great penalty kill for the Thunder. They've outplayed the North Stars so far on this. It's not much of it has been in this end. Now it is. Tesseract to the blue line. Shot through a screen. Pat Naden doing the screening. Goodla keeping him honest. To the blue line. Phillips. Cross those pass. Fakes. Pass. Oh, on. Tesseract trying to hit the stick of Naden for a redirect to get it around Vixton. Tesseract also in for a screen. Naden up high. Redrick yeah. scores! Off the tip of the stick and between the legs there. North that, Stars get one up on the foul. That point. is what Pat Naden is in front of the net to do. Keep his stick on the ice and then just redirect anything that comes through. And he did that so well. That was a really nice, really nice power play. North Stars controlled that very, very well. I mean, I was just about to say, I mean, the best penalty killer for you was always your goaltender. And the way that Viskins got that puck down the ice to clear away from his zone was just very clever. But there's no way he was going to be able to stop that. Unfortunately, the legs were open, the deflection came through, and good goal for Pat Naden. Good power play by the North Stars. Long shot on Davis. He stops that and actually has to have a deep pick it out for him. As the Thunder were really close. Back to 5 on 5, of course, after the goal. Back that comes to Hamilton. Pushes it forward into the North Star zone. They have to play it, it won't go for icing. And back it goes for Rob Hazelhurst in number three. A nice play there by Dave Ferrari, the North Stars, just to step him up at the blue line so that he couldn't get through. Clever defence. Hello, in the corner. Ooh, we're going to have a tripping here for sure. Yeah. So it's going to even up. I don't know what be even up. They've already ended their penalty. So the Thunder will have a power play as the North Stars are going to sit through for tripping. Yeah, and Malloy's uh, had quite a few little battles in that uh, bottom right-hand corner. Just to the right of Dane Davis tonight. And that one there, unfortunately, his stick was just a little bit too low and took out the skates. I think they're always too low for Kevin Velo. <laughs> <laughs> Back underway. You could say it was unlucky, Steve. Unlucky, but we won't. <laughs> In the oh, zone, look Phillips at stick handling. Look at that stick handling. Gets it back. Tries to drive the net. Oh, oh and gets out the other side. I think Tom got a touch on it and Two broke on up one. the play. Bro, cross. Shot on net. And it's wide. That was uh, Kieran Webster Kieran taking Webster. the shot. I hate to say this, but an Australian ice hockey player, so he was always going to shoot it over the net. <laughs> but I won't say that. Good, Steve. At least it wasn't unlucky. At least it wasn't. <laughs> You're sorry, you told me that, aren't you? Very. Yeah, <laughs> Thunder on the attack again here now. This is good play. North Stars trying to clear. It's hit Jeff Scott, but the North Stars got a bit of a break here. Now he has to go to the puck, those Lander. Looks like he had a problem with his skate or something. He was. Um, he didn't look comfortable there no, at all. No, he was, he was struggling to skate. Maybe he got a slash or a problem with the skate. He's heading off now. Yeah, well, Lindsay was down there waiting for the puck to come back in the middle, so he's obviously goal hungry tonight. Well, he set straight down, so um, I don't think. Uh, I don't think Tommy Landers had an injury. I hope not. Uh, so. He's a pretty tough character, mate. If he so does, he it'd is. have to be a huge one, like a broken leg or something. <laughs> uh, an amputation. <laughs> <laughs> Down to the corner. First to it is Woodman. It's around the boards. North Stars trying to get out of their zone. It gets, you get a fortuitous bounce, and they move it forward into the attacking oh. zone. Nice bump there on Naden there. That was by Hamilton. Dan Ryan passes it back. It's under the stick of Naden, so he'll go for a change while the puck is deep. It's hard to believe that the North Stars are actually on the penalty kill here at the moment. They're controlling the play. Yeah, well, the Thunder kind of did that to the North Stars with their, their power play. They had a lot of the possession there. Velo centers it. Cut off by the North Ooh. Stars. We just had a North Stars and North Stars check there. We hit the go with the puck, not your teammate. Loy's on the ice. The penalty's over. Picks up that puck and misses the stick of his teammate. It's got a nice angling though, so it's been picked up by Woodman. And they've got a quick, a quick up there to get things going. Play is broken up, but the Thunder get another shot away. Bouncing around, so 
Red jerseys have the numbers, and Scanny Ford is Brolé. Long pass gets it out to the right wing into the zone they come. Centering, and got a touch on it there, did the Thunder, and sent it out out of danger's way. Into the corner is Hamish Powell, banger. In front, and the great save. Trulay, he wanted that. That's two that he's missed tonight. Trulay, really really yeah. It. He's hungry for some points. I think he had any last night, Francis, and he's not had... I think it might be his first game without any. Mm. Oh, he's certainly being very dominant. You've noticed him out the ice in this first stage of this first period after just 11 minutes. Uh, I've been very, very nice with him and also uh, Thomas Lander. Both had huge games so far for the North Stars. But gee, how good has Jamie Woodman been as well too for the Thunder? He's been in everything. Yeah, he's, his improvement's been pretty amazing. I remember Stan was talking about him a couple of years ago and uh, uh, there was no uh, exaggeration <laughs> in his <laughs> development. <laughs> Tommy Saki got his stick. I well, actually, they, it wasn't I his they stick. they swapped sticks. Yeah. They did swap sticks. Okay. It was Simpson. It was Simpson's stick that was caught there and it got sack and knocked him off his feet. Ah. More stars pick it up in their end. Scanning it forward. Up the right wing they go. Into the zone. Close a move. Shot on net. Stopped by Vixton. And yeah. it's funny, Hayes, Rob Hazelhurst didn't challenge the player. He shielded the goalie with his body. <laughs> <laughs> a good play there by Malloy to be putting pressure on the goaltender. And it, this is the noticeable thing tonight in this game is that the North Stars have been putting pressure on the goaltenders. They've been getting pucks down deep and they're making plays happen. They are using all three lines. They've even been using some of their youth players. So they're definitely taking that opportunity. And that, I, think, I think they see that opportunity with the uh, shorter bench on the Thunder side. Under breaking out their zone, having some trouble as the blue line gets clogged up with red jerseys. And Liam and Waring being one of those and forces a turnover, but Thunder get it back. Now it's into Thunder End and more fortune and pressure from the North Stars. Naden in the corner. Challenge there between Thunder and Manwaring. Manwaring wins the puck. Gets it back to Southwood. We'll drop it behind him, but it's picked off there by the Thunder and Velo will clear it up ice. Nice chance. I thought we had Braille with a breakaway. It ends up having to go wide, and it's stopped by Davis. 2.35. 1 0 still the lead for the North Stars. Yeah, nice save by Davis. I'm not 100% sure he saw that because uh, Ben Broken certainly let the puck go when he wants to, but it just stayed this nice and steady with his gloves and was able to grab that. So, nice play. But good on the Thunder for getting that break happening. They're putting a lot of pressure on the North Stars. In the corner right now, they battle for the puck to the right of Davis. Under two and a half minutes to go in this first period. Tell you the fans down that end of the rink have been getting their money's worth. There's been a lot of battles down there. There must be a puck magnet down there. Skating with it is Hazelhurst. Gets a puck away and skating onto it. Oops. Not Lemon Lodge. An opportunity. Shot on net. <laughs> and beautiful oh. grab by Davis. <laughs> and what makes it so good is he makes it look so easy. Yeah. And just throws it. Have another, have another go, mate. Throw it out to him. You know, just it incredible. It was Linda Lodge carrying the puck there. Yeah, Lodge again, great job to get in behind the defence and get an opportunity there. That was but, a great uh, pass by, by Hazelhurst. It was. He connected the dots just perfectly. I think what he may have learnt from that is don't shoot at Davis' glove. There are lots of other areas that the net maybe <laughs> should be shooting at. I think Davis's glove covering some good areas is a problem. All stars into the zone. Simpson heading towards the net. Late cover was Lando. He's about to stick out and he seems to be skating just fine now. So, never bothered him before. He's shaken off. Phillips Ooh. gets around one player, can't get around a second, so he's going to get some help there from Paddy Ward, 43. Oh, so nice. Having trouble, the Thunder breaking out of their end. Hamilton's got some pressure on him now, driving towards the net as Lander spins it out. The blue line. Low on the attack. Gets it forward. Gotta get it again. Battle in the corner for it. Lowe's a dispatch it, but Paddy Ward's not a little man either. Yeah, Below used his size nicely there just to flick it up in the air so they can get it past the player and then use his reach to grab it. But just couldn't control the puck. Well, it's funny when two players have to ignore the puck and, and they run into each other. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan Hay, Rich Powell, they're coming together. 
across the well, blue line, go to the north stars, but there's lots of white jerseys there too, and then straight out of the zone again. Whoops, this is going to be dangerous. Yep. Turn over, what, two on one. Mm, it's a three on one. Three on one. But but good back checking. Homes. Brilliant play there by Hamish Powell. Last 30 seconds or so of the period. That's drifted past Vixen, so he's pushing in the corner. Pat, uh, Pat Naden there to it first. Now Powell. Shakes off a hit. And Pundler. Carrying his draw leg. Spins about. Shakes off a check. No, he doesn't. Arn stole the puck from him. Draw leg. Puck is bouncing. Woodman. Working him over in the corner. Back massage and all. Ten seconds. We should see out the period. Unless North Stars get an opportunity right now. Malloy in the corner. He knows the Thunder can't get a breakaway now. With just two seconds left. He's not going to get a penalty. <laughs> And that will see out the first penalty here at Hunter Ice Gaining Stadium. So we have the Newcastle North Stars, the hosts. They have one. And we have the Perth Thunder get to score. And I, th I think that's a pretty clear, uh, pretty clear reflection of the game in all seriousness. The North Stars seem to be just slightly on top, a little bit quicker, a little bit faster in their transitions. They have struggled a little bit to get out of their own zone, which is a bit of a carryover from last night. But when they have, their transition is fantastic. And it looks like they've changed their style of play a little bit as well, too. Last night, they were trying to bring everything through the middle, and the uh, Brave took that away from them. Tonight, they've been coming wide and putting the puck back into the middle, and that's been giving them uh, opportunities. And this Droulet's missed two absolute corkers in front of the net. So uh, it could be very easily 3-0, really easily. Saying all that... The breakaway that uh, the, the Thunder got, the poor old Linden Lodge wasn't able to get that through a brilliant love save by Dane Davis. Yeah. One of the highlights of the period, really. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a game in the balance. It's it just is. sitting I there. I see what you mean. So both teams have had opportunities that didn't come through yeah. due to a bit of individual brilliance or errors or whatever. Um, but uh, but overall, I think there's a slight edge to the North Star. Season. Absolutely. Yeah, they'd be very proud of the way they've bounced back from what happened last night uh -huh. and uh, put pressure on the, on the Thunder. And the Thunder have responded. I mean, they're not lying back. I mean, they're playing well. There's, uh, there's certainly been some, as you just finished saying then, some really good opportunities that they just haven't converted on. So I wouldn't be changing a great deal. I mean, they just need to keep pressure, pressure, pressure. With the North Stars, there's no doubt that their speed is going to get on top of the Thunder if they continue to keep doing that. They've got a much longer bench than, uh, than what the Thunder have, and uh, the Thunder are missing two class players. Yeah. So uh, that makes a significant difference. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Pucks deep, pucks on the net, good things happen. I think considering the Thunder are really impressive tonight. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. With the shorter bench, they're, they're keeping up. Yeah, they're matching the North Stars so far. Yeah. Uh, very close to it. And um, we've seen that before. North Stars were down to two imports when mm -hmm. they went to Melbourne last yep. and they still managed to win down there. So, yep. uh, yeah, they put on a good show and hopefully we get the crowd into it. It's not as busy as it was last night. It was filled to the rim last night. but. Wow. Uh, Great energy, but uh, hopefully a couple of uh, goals either way will get the crowd into it. A tight, tense game and have some fun. Well, that was really the plan from the Thunder. That was obvious. They're running two lines there at the beginning to try and get some, uh, some action happening early for them. And it didn't. Uh, obviously, the North Stars were up 1-0. But it was a good plan because if they could grab two, couple of one, two goals, get in front and hang on, that might be a great strategy for this game because they are going to get tired when that third period rolls around, especially because 20 minutes after just playing two 15s and an overtime game last night and coming all the way over from the west of this. So there's a lot of things going against them in all seriousness. So uh, they really need to get up and then hang on if they want to, uh, want to win this. Whereas the North Stars, pressure, pressure, pressure. Well, these are the two most distant teams. So yes. we're talking about, uh, well, a direct flight to Sydney, what, five, six hours from Perth? And then you've got two, two and a half hours drive mm -hmm. up the freeway to, North, to the North Stars' home in Warners Bay, uh, just outside of Newcastle. Yeah, it's tiring. There's no yeah. doubt about that. It's a long mm -hmm. way. Yeah. And they were yep. in Sydney yesterday, last night. They've got a long ride home tonight. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they're going to get a red eye or if they'll wait till morning and fly in the morning. Yep. Yeah. Well, they can be Big proud of what they've done so far tonight. Because, uh, I mean, 1-0, they're not out of the game, far from. And as we said, they've had a couple of opportunities that just haven't quite come off. So uh, all they've got to do is keep that happening, and they'll be fine. Um, but they've got to keep it happening. That, that's the, and yeah. you normally only play as well as the other team lets you play. And uh, the North Stars, with the pressure that they've been putting on, haven't really given them a lot of opportunity. Some, but not a lot. So I like the way the North Stars are playing tonight. Uh, I just... It'd be... They just need to get a little bit smoother coming out of their zone, that's yeah. all. That's been the real struggle at the moment, is the coming out of their own zone quickly. It's been a pretty hungry forecheck from the Thunder, oh, yeah. that's impressed me, which has put the same sort of pressure that uh, 
the, the Brave did to the, to the North Stars last night. Yeah. And I think that's kind of shook up the game a bit, but North Stars have responded better to it uh, than they did last night. Well, as we said during the call, there's been some phenomenal battles down in that corner down yes. there. Uh, because of the pressure that you're talking about that the, uh, the Thunder have been putting on the North Stars. And the North Stars just haven't been able to get that puck up the boards to the wing so they can get out of the zone quickly. So they may have to look at a, a middle breakout rather than up the boards breakout. They might have to train something a little bit subtly, more D to D over, that sort of thing, to uh, move the Thunder from side to side so they take away the pressure. They may have to just do some little subtle things like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Coach Kennedy is talking to them about that because obviously it was something he talked about last night that he wanted to try and improve so they can move on with that. All right. That'll do from our analysis from the first period. The North Stars lead 1-0 against the Perth Thunder. And we've got Ellie Marie Watts waiting with Paddy Naden. So we'll catch you for the second period soon. Hi, everyone. Ellie Marie Watts down on the Newcastle North Stars bench. I'm joined by Paddy Naden. Uh, the North Stars are leading 1-0 over Perth Thunder. And it was Pat Naden with the goal. How do you, how's it feel to be the goal scorer of the game so far, Pat? Oh, no, it's nice to get the things rolling. So yeah. I think the boys are just going to build off that now. And yeah. Talk to us about the start tonight. Um, you guys really look like yourselves out there. Does it feel like you're back to oh, feeling a bit different from yesterday's game? Yeah, I think so. We're looking fast. Uh, we're just going to keep the tempo up. And yeah, yeah a lot to a lot to prove from yesterday's game. I think so. Yeah. And uh, what's the focus for tonight's game? Obviously, getting pucks in the net. But yeah, are you looking at doing anything particular? I think just keep the pressure up, just work them, work them down low and um, force the turnovers and capitalise off them. Yeah. Are you looking to do, I don't know, anything different in the second period or just keep it going? No, I think just keep the ball rolling. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much, Pat.
Welcome back, everyone, to the Hunter Ice Skating Stadium for this AIHL clash. Newcastle North Stars 1 leading the Perth Thunder after 1, Stephen. And it's a balanced game. It really is a balance. Uh, North Stars certainly ahead 1-0, but it could really bounce anyway. With the opportunity that both teams have had, uh, the score could be slightly different to what it is. So this is a really good hockey game. Mm. It's a really good hockey game. Both teams just need to sort out their uh, defensive zone work, and uh, well, I think we'll see some more goals couple of great goaltenders also keeping the game interesting. So Nick Vixton in the Thunder end and Dane Davis has had to stop a couple of good opportunities there from the Thunder, but he's so far he's blanked them. Oh, Davis again has been spectacular. His glove work is just phenomenal. He'd, he'd be extremely happy with the way he's been playing so far. Players are on the ice. Jeff Scott drops a puck. We're underway in period number two. And Thunder have possession into the North Star zone it goes. And it's picked up a Malai, so he's going to send it up to Lenti. Goes under him, so he's going to chip it out. Out, but it goes to the defense of the Thunder. I'm going to take their left wing option. And the low. Thunder now, dump it in, gets it around the man and into the corner. So skating onto it is Malloy. Checking with his teammates, he's going to take it up himself. That's the way you break out of his own, Pete. That's it. Best way to do it is carry it. With purpose. And the board goes. A bit of an opportunity for the Thunder, but to get first to it are the North Whoops. Stars. Phillips loses it in his gates. Pass is missing below. Darren Webb says pass there. North Stars on the counter. Goliath with a quick shot. And Vixton watches it go past the top corner. Trey Phillips, another attempt. And that's a little wide. Around the board she goes. Some shoveling happening in the corner. Off a stick and a looping bounce to Trey Phillips. This is his third game for the North Stars after coming over from Canada to replace Andre Smark, who went home to Czech Republic. And a stop of play, I believe the net's off. Yeah, it's looked like the net comes off down there. Again, great battles down low from the North Stars to trying to keep the puck in and Phillips did a brilliant job keeping the puck inside that zone. And I really like the way that uh, Paddy Ward pinched in to keep the puck down low as well too. So the defense have been very, very active because obviously your offense has to come from your defense as well too. So uh, to keep them engaged is going to mean that we should get more opportunities here. Ace off, it goes back to the blue line. Malloy throws it towards net. Into the corner it goes. Again, Ferrari pinching down to keep the player alive. It's very good. Very aggressive, but it's working. There's that corner. The battle's again down there. We've seen Trey Phillips pinch a lot. Relay circling. Picked up the puck. Swaps positions. Hands off to Malloy. Malloy's going to drive the net. Quick shot. Oh, Scores! Oh. Hits the corner. And the D-man shows him up. Picks the corner. Pie the shoulder of Vixen for a 2 0 lead. Well, the defense have been so active, we just finished talking about it there, and that was a lovely shot. Just a great shot by our captain, Burt Malloy, over the shoulder. He just lined it up and just let it rip. And let him get almost between the circles before he fired the puck. Yeah. What I liked is that he shot while he was in stride, so the goaltender wasn't really ready for the shot, so I gave him the opportunity just to let it rip. So, good shot, good goal. North Stars 2 0. 13. Minutes now remaining in the penalty. North Stars going to back after the face off. They drive into the Thunder Zone. Quick attempt there by Naden. Stopped by Vixton. Thunder carrying the puck. Ward taps that away. Off the stick of Velo. Velo is very angry with himself. He's yeah. made two mistakes now. I think, I think Velo's having to fill two roles tonight because uh, with my cot away. Uh, he's very involved in the play, but he's also trying to carry it and then you know, trying to do a lot himself. So probably circumstantial. And then she's gone straight to the change room. <laughs> That's because he's talking to himself. He's he doesn't want anyone else to hear what the conversation's <laughs> all about. <laughs> he just said to uh, share a couple of swear words mm, with himself. Yeah. Let the frustration out. Shot by Phillips. Blocked by, by Vixton. Trying to get the rebound. And breaking out, it's tapped and down and controlled by Thomas Clinic having another shift. I'm really impressed with the way he goes, Steve. Skates nicely, looks really confident, very yeah, vigilant. 
He's been practicing with the North Stars for a few weeks now, so yeah. be more comfortable with the players and what should be happening, their systems and what's going on. Well, he did come down for the month of June. Uh, so he has been practicing, and this has been his opportunity, and I guess tonight was the chance for his debut, and he's taken it. He's got a couple of shifts now. It's on the stick of Tesserick and frozen by Nico Vixton for a stopper play. 11.52 left in the second. The only thing I don't like, Pete, is his pants are torn. He really needs to get that fixed up, mate. You know, <laughs> it's the fashion police here for you. All right, old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, if his parents are watching, hello. Your son's doing you proud here. Hope you're listening, Terry. Round behind the board goes Rob Hazelhurst. Once again, a sweet pass onto the stick. Shot and a gloved save. Well, it wasn't truly shaved because he was going to miss the net, but... Well, Davis just sat there and let it hit his glove. Yeah, perfect. Glove. Absolutely perfect positioning. And Ben Bro straight to the in front of it, as he should. And the two swapped a smile. A couple of uh, friendly guys. Face off. One by Lander into the corner. Round it goes. Simpson will pick it up off the bounce. And it's gone actually past him and through to Hazelhurst. He's going to go to the right wing. Loy sticks out the skate and moves it forward. He's going to pitch in, take it, take nice it to the net, and Nets will have to. Nice goal. Because it's in the net. And that was, was well, Malloy would, I don't know if he's going to get credit for that, but him going to the net. Absolutely. Draw the attention, drew the attention of Nico Vixton and allowed the man to take the shot. Was it Tess Rick who got the goal or Simpson? Yeah, it was just a lovely play there that was crafted, you know. Uh, I think it was, uh, I think it was Phillips. But anyway, it was uh, well crafted because of the two on one. It's a tall man. That's, that's Simpson. It's his first goal, isn't it? The North Stars. Well, you've got one with the nice stop. So that will be his first goal for the North Stars here in Australia. I just like the way Malloy's being active tonight and getting himself engaged in the game. <clears throat> yeah, that's Luke's, Luke's goal. I don't know if his uh, family is keen is watching as Semi Banga's family in Canada, but if they are, hello and uh, and uh, enjoy having Luke and Trey here. Uh, they're doing a great job. Their speed is phenomenal, and their skill with the puck, the hands are just great. Saw some wonderful skill in that first period where the defense for the Thunder were just bamboozled, didn't know where the puck was. Three 0 lead now. We've got 11 minutes to go in the second period. We'll starts with two in this period. Paddy Ward goes oh. over a stick and bars Bagger into the corner, so that's going to be icy. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not usually pretty hard to make a pass when you're standing still, so unfortunately for Patrick Ward, there he was, and it was just hard to get that. But everyone was uh, giving him fist bumps, they know it was a close one. Could have gone either way. It's a snappy pass, had plenty of power on it. Relay wants this face off. And he gets it. <laughs> For Lowe's such a big guy, he's hard to muscle out in the, in the circle. Anger onto the puck. Gently pushes it forward for Jolay to pick up in the corner. Trying to win that battle. Lowe has the puck. Rossi goes. Pro has it. He's got help there from Webster. Okay, Webster in 12. To the blue line. Fight on net. Picked up overload, shoots! Missed the net. Just wide of Davis. He had the glove out there though, but he couldn't reach far enough. He didn't have to because it was too wide. More stars. Reverse it to shake off a couple of four checkers and Paddy Ward will skate it forward. Rush there. Makes a good work by Sean Tobin, putting pressure on him. And that's out of place. So they're going to stop it, take it back to Thunder End with 10.02 left in the second, Steve. 3 0 lead. Yeah, it was lucky to hit the glass first, so there won't be any penalty on the play for a delay again. Face off will be down in the Thunder side on the right hand side. And again, the North Stars, great pressure, which is really what we talked about in the break. If they put pressure on the Thunder, anything can happen. And that pressure has led to two goals, and it deserves 3 0 win. 3 0 lead. Yeah, hold on, Steve. Yeah, that's right. Thrilled. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> You're thinking ahead to Emma's final tonight. <laughs> Thunder have the puck. Stopped up there by Davis. Phillips quickly goes to move it, loses it, and Davis freezes it. Sometimes the hands work for you, sometimes the hands don't work for you. 
I love that uh, Phillips, Trey Phillips is so willing to carry it and, and try those moves, and he's got mm. the speed and skill to do it. We've seen yeah. it. Tonight it's not flowing for him, but he ha it hasn't stopped, so it means he's playing with confidence, and I think that's going to help him. You when it fires, he's hard to stop. You want players that want the puck. It just makes it so much easier for you when that's the case, so it, it's wonderful that he, he does, and he's doing something with it. Bounces over to Davis, who gloves it as it goes past the blue paint. Yeah, it's a definite difference in the North Stars' defensive play in this period as well, too. They're manning up on players. They're making sure there's no gaps or room around the net. And that's making, obviously, Dane Davis' job a bit easier as well, too. Back underway. Loy lobs it out of the zone. Tess Rick will pick it up. He's going to have to shake off Woodman, as we said, is a very good skater. Now it's picked up. Chance in front. And stopped by Vic Stern. Foot race for the puck. That's the speed by Webster. First to it, though, is Simpson. Good speed from Webster. It's the, uh, at the very least, a college player. Not pro soon. Quick attempt through the screen. I Ooh. thought he had it there, but it was in the corner. All Stars now sitting out. Matt Lindsay through a screen, a big screen. That's why. Hazelhurst and Simpson blocking Vixen's view there. And we've got to stop a play for some thing. Back to the North Stars end, but looks. Yeah, I think it must have been a high stick in the Played zone. Played a high stick. Let's move back of the zone because of where it was played. Lace is to the left of Davis with 8.48 left in the second period. It's a 3-0 lead for the North Stars. Lace off. Craig Phillips will pick it up with some speed. It's Hassel there by Tomek Sack, and he's going to spin about, reverse, look to Paddy Ward. Ward goes the left wing, picked up by Jane Ryan into the zone. Here he goes, he's got Banger with him. Drops off for Banger. Stick handles, cross eyes, trying to hit Drelay, and broken up by the Thunder to the blue line. Trey Phillips keeps it alive with some beautiful lateral movement. Just trying to shake off some attention there from Sean Tobin. For a screen, again yeah. scores! Vixen got the first one, but couldn't get the rebound. Sammy Banger, that was just a wonderful play. Paddy Ward made the pass down low, and Banger just moved across the goalie and put it around him on his backhand. A really good goal, a really good goal scorer's goal, because he knew Vixen would be expecting the puck to move one way, and he just moved back the other way. So this is 4-0 now, Peter. Yeah, second period too, so very different to last night, where it was a much closer game. Um, even though uh, it kind of blew out a bit in the third, but it, was, it wasn't until the third period that Thunder got a couple of, the brave Thunder got a couple of goals up. And it was a close one last night in Sydney, of course, went to OT. Absolutely. It's not much closer than that, actually, Mike. It's true. They're only 25 seconds worth of being <laughs> finishing the game yep. the same goal and having the need to use a shootout. Yeah, good work there by Dave Ferrari. He's been on the bench for a while. Now he just gets out on the ice, pinches, make sure the play stays down in the Thunder end, except for this. Good hustle from the Thunder. Somebody Banger keeps the scoring ticking over. Aiden, it's a bit of a hospital pass, so he had to just tap it away rather than <laughs> wait for it to come to him and the, and the checker, Loy. Million shots to Naden. And breaking it up there. Chopped out of play. Kudla. Yeah, that was a good recovery then by the Thunder to come back as quickly as they did. But the shot from McMahon was really a nothing shot at Davis. And Davis took it very comfortably and just dumped it behind him. They're going to need to do better than that. I mean, shooting across the goaltender would be a good start. So they actually get some rebound work happening. Otherwise, it's going to be a long night. to the Thunder Zone right now. Once again, they've got a screen oh. going. Some Simpson chance saved there by Vixton. Thunder moving it forward. Bro, play is breaking up. And it's attracted a penalty. Neither of us are sure yeah. who's got it. I think it's Thomas Lander. Yeah, he's going to have a holding call here. Just as Ben Bro came over the, uh, over the blue line there. Uh, he got a little bit tangled up there with uh, Lander and uh, obviously the referee has seen that as being a holding call. So the penalty on the 
on the North Stars and really the Thunder now they're going to want to get a goal they've really got to start something if they want to get into this game they're going to have to start something right now in this two minutes very soft one by the Thunder and on the power play Hazelhurst Southwood's lost his stick already so really it's five on three now it is that's helpful was it broken? Or was it just no dropped? he just dropped it he's looking to pick it up Again, just got to watch, find the right time. And we had another broken as well, Jaden Ryan. Jaden Ryan broke his. So it was a very fortuitous stop there. Uh, Davis smothering the puck, so those two players can get off and get new timber. A nice puck movement there by the Thunder, but unfortunately not really much in the way of shooting. And it's the old story, mate, you score goals from shooting. Soft Velo wins that one. Gets him back to Hazelhurst at the point. Coburn and battles in the corner. Gets to Webster. Coburn's circling. Swapping positions. Heading for a screen. Thunder setting up in front. Hazelhurst screening. The blue line Velo. Mm, Test it one timer. Got the heel there by Brell. Didn't get anything on that. Keeps it in the zone though. This is Phillips back to pick it up. Under pressure, he reverses it, gets it to Malloy. He's going to, oh, just missed a Jumbotron. We nearly got a $30,000 bill there, Mr. Malloy. <laughs> I love the way all the fans go scream as well, too. <laughs> oh, just We've missed never it. Never saw more nervous fans. Ferrari. It's a pass away, but uh, Below needs to change. Thunder. Trying to break out, it's broken up by the North Stars. Goes back to Ferrari. Through a group, and Tess Rick will pick it up. He's going to skate it in. He'll look forward to going to the net. Now he's going to wait for some help. Happy to kill the penalty. Ferrari then. Oh, that was almost a sensational it pass. It was almost a sensational pass, but they had sensational Rob Hazel has seemed to cut it off. Attempt by a net there by Simpson, and why not when you're on the penalty kill? The penalty, uh, pardon me, the North Stars penalty is about to expire. And the North Stars are lined up along the blue line trying to enter the zone. Yes, Rick does now. Now he's going to skate back and he's going to wait. Get organised. Now they're even. So the Thunder penalty. I mean, the Thunder power play. Nice pass. Watch out for Thomas Lander. Gets the shot away. His stick's going everywhere. Well, it looks like Jamie Woodman has lost his. He's picked it up now. 2-1-1, forming, oh, chance nice for Brown in Malone. Shoot, save Davis. Puck bounces around, goes to Lander fortuitously. That was a really good save because Kieran Webster is a really good goal scorer. So that was a lovely save by Dane Davis. Just this time that he waited, made sure it all happened. Beautiful. Love it, then goes right to the net. Just about climbed in there with Vixen. Shot on net and an easy one on the logo there for Davis to cover with 4 or 6 left in the second. 4 0 lead for the North Stars. Yeah, and again, the Perth Thunder are making Davis look really, really good with shots like that. I mean, they've got a 300 mil off the ice far post. That's where you're going to get your rebounds. That's where you're going to put Davis under pressure. But that was just a great save that he made before on that breakaway from young Kieran Webster. Trey Phillips under pressure, skating in up ice. Dispatches a puck to the right wing. Hamish Powell into the zone. The other way, and Thunder just throw it forward. This is what North Stars had trouble doing last night. They were tended to have to dump the puck in because they're under lots of pressure, couldn't carry it in. Looking inside of him is Jake Rock. Jake Rock, yep. And North Stars, Hamish Powell will move it up to the right wing into the zone he goes. Another successful zone entry. Well, obviously he learned something from last night. He felt comfortable to do that. Yes. Ooh, that was um, that was close. <laughs> you knew he said unlucky. Oh, now you're thinking yeah. about it. Yes. You're allowed a few. You're allowed a few, Steve. Just don't say many. My brother will kill me, so I'm not going to say one. Well, I'm going to be fortuitously Pete the way things are going. Mm -hmm. Into the, the zone go the North Stars. Been wearing with a shot. And it's into the corner off a rebound. 
broken up there by the North Stars. That was Southwood. Shot on net from a cute angle by Naden. Stopped by Vixton. Into the corner it goes. Woodman battles for it. This is what I like about the North Stars. They're actually shooting tonight. They're trying to put pressure on the goaltender. Whereas yeah. last night that wasn't the case. Happy to take low percentage shots just to keep the pressure just on. Just keep the pressure on. Roy carries. Pass goes past. Pass goes past. Oh, what a pinch from Lander. Lander's scanning it in. Looks. Pass inside. Oh, I saw some arms go up, I think. <laughs> some people behind the net thought it was going in. Well, there was a lot of red in front of the net, so I don't know how they all missed it. Well, I saw some sticks go up when it looked like hands for a minute, like, but they were just trying not to uh, run into each other or, or get a high stick on somebody. Lander. That was to get the pass away. Leaves it behind, so the Thunder have an opportunity. Velo on the puck. Two on one. Two on one. Shot. Yeah. Saved by Davis. Scores. It's in the net, unfortunately. It's a goal. Yep. Thunder goal. 4 1 now. Unfortunately, uh, Ward got caught up ice pinching and uh, that led to the two on one. And the two on one was played just beautifully by the Thunder. And Blue just he knew where to shoot. 300 mil off the ice, which I keep saying is the where the puck should be. And uh, unfortunately, Davis wasn't able to grab that. Um, Up rush. And it came from good bounces, but uh, it was a great finish. The North Star's got to be careful now. If the Thunder pop another one, all of a sudden they're going to be on their, Different game. On their toes. Mm. Changes the pressure. Davis keeps that one out. Kieran Webster gets to the blue line. And Thunder are holding possession and keeping the North Star's pinned a bit at the moment. Ferrari gets it to Ward. Lander. Pretty safe pair of hands usually. Ward. Up highs. Bouncing around, loved down by Hazel Hurst. Offside, Rob, and he's angry at himself. Yeah, I'm starting to see a bit of this tonight. Uh, the Thunder are getting very, very frustrated on the bench. Uh, Bilou has been very frustrated. Hazel Hurst, who's unflappable, is now getting very frustrated. So uh, they just need to settle down. I mean, they got a goal. And you see you pressure on the North Stars and try and get another one. Soft. I didn't buy a Velo. That was Velo. All stars are breaking out. As to Phillips, who's rushing himself. Oh, nice to do that. He's very much on Oh, yes, and it's scores. in. So Nick, Vic, Nico Vixen made the first save, but ended up out of his net. And All stars get it to the man at the paint and put it in well, for a 5-1 Sammy Banger does what he does so well. He just went to the net and made sure that when the puck came out loose that he banged it in the net. So, I mean, it's what he does so well. He's been doing that all season long. Just he knows when the puck's going to be. He knows the opportunities that are going to arise. And he makes sure he's in the right position to, to finish up any garbage that might be lying around. So, well done. Really good goal. And that's the best answer the North Stars can give. Last minute of the second period. So, it's 5-1 North Stars. Breaking out of their zone, long pass oh, on the stick. Risky pass, but it's working. Bro with a shot, saved by Davis. Up the shoulder. Then Ryan. That was a nice to pass to get out of the zone. Bit of a chance for Banger, but it's bounced ahead of him, and he's going to have to pick it up in the corner. Stop and play. 26 seconds and a half here in the second period. Well, certainly, this has been very complete by the North Stars, there's no doubt about that. They've known what they should and shouldn't be doing out there on the ice, and uh, they've really put a lot of pressure on the Thunder. A lot of pressure on the Thunder. There's a lot of pressure in the first period, but they put a lot more pressure on in the second period. Face off one by the North Stars. Left in by Lehman Waring off the boards, and it's going to be picked up by Krula. Around the boards it goes. And back to Matt Lindsay, we're in number three. Loy. To Lindsay, pardon me, there's Manwari. Now Malloy. Manwari, it goes under the stick and into the corner. And that's it for the period. And you're not supposed to check your own teammates, fellas. <laughs> I think that was just a uh, total uh, miscommunication as to who's on who there with uh, Pat Naden and uh, Liam Manwari. I don't think they were trying to body check each other. Well, that's what they got. <laughs> <laughs> but what a wonderful period for the North Stars. I mean, 5-1.
and uh, it's a very complete period. It wasn't really a part of their game that didn't go well for them. Uh, all the aspects were wonderful. I mean, the, uh, they got out of the zone a lot quicker than what they did in the first period. And the pressure they put on uh, all through that period was immense. And obviously the Thunder couldn't handle it. I mean, congratulations to the Thunder to get a goal back. But I mean, it was just a complete period by the North Stars. And I'm sure Coach Kennedy is sitting there in the dressing room pretty happy with what he's seen so far. Yeah, nothing really for him to change. Nope. What about in the Thunder Bench? What do they have to change for period two? Well, the shooting at the... Period three, don't they? Yeah, the period three. The, the problem they're getting is uh, really uh, they're not challenging Davis at all. I mean, a lot of the shots they've had are from out wide, and they've been right in the logo. So there's not going to be a rebound. There's not going to be uh, anything coming from that. The one goal that they did get was just above his paddles, uh, so it was a wonderful shot, and it was far post, which is really the kind of shots that most goalies don't like, because they're very difficult to control, and they're certainly difficult to control the rebound on. So that was a really good shot, but I mean, you've got to do that four more times now. It's 5-1, yeah. and uh, at the moment, they're not doing that. They did it very well in the first period, but that second period, not at all. Everything was out wide, and as I keep saying, you only play as well as the opposition allow you to play, and the North Stars were pushing them out wide, so they had to shoot from those angles because there was no one coming through the middle, uh, which is what they need to change. So in some ways, the Brave taught the North Stars a couple of lessons, which are helping them out tonight. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, you've got to learn every game that you play. There's always things you can do better. And I mean, uh, when you look at a team that was as complete as the Brave were last night, there's a lot of stuff that comes from that. So, uh, And it's a real credit to the coaching staff on the North Stars that they can see that, make subtle adjustments, because we've had no practice. All it is is subtle adjustments between the game last night and the yeah. game now, and that's made a significant difference. So, uh, Trey Phillips and Luke Simpson, this is their really their, f their first chance to really get into it now. They've had played two games this weekend. We've seen what's now the top team, uh, the Brave, come in, and uh, so they've had that experience. Uh, at the moment, they're still looking uh, like they're settling in. Yep. Um, you know, a couple of uh, handling errors or, or hit themselves or just getting the puck and sort of stuff. I think there's room for improvement for there too. And I, what I'm saying is I'm expecting that they're going to be pretty good once they get their groove. Oh, absolutely. I mean, they haven't had that many practices with the team either because uh, the practice are called off during the All-Star break. So, uh, they're, they're still, I mean, they're very good hockey players. But the reality is they've got to get used to the systems and the way that the North Stars play. And uh, that's not always easy. Not all teams play the same way. So they've, they've got to try and fit in with the way uh, the North Stars systems are set up. But also the standard of the players as well too. Because everyone's different. Everyone's different out on the ice. And uh, they really need to, to know what the strengths and weaknesses are of their teammates so they can work with them on that. And that's going to come from practice. Games is wonderful. But I mean really you're focused on your own game and you want to play well. Practice is where you can start reading other players and work out what they can and can't do, uh, and then just hone those little things to make it work better. But they are fast, they are quick, and that's really the style of game that North Stars have been trying to play. Is a quick game. Yeah, we've seen uh, Trey Phillips is very willing to carry the puck. Uh, in fact, he's made a couple of rushes himself yes. end to end. So, yeah, I mean, as a guy who pretended to play defence, uh, <laughs> that I find that very exciting yeah. <laughs> for attacking defence. Absolutely. I mean, uh, and the way that the defense have been pinching as well, too, and putting pressure on the Thunder in the offensive zone is wonderful, you know. So, uh, but all those things just still need a little bit of tweaking. There's no doubt about that. And, you know, we've got a long way to go. Yeah, this, we're, still, we're not quite halfway through the season yet. Yeah, so right. uh, there's still a lot of games to go before we actually get to that magic weekend. I believe next weekend we play the Ice Dogs is the halfway yes. point for game 14. Yep. Uh, game 13 for us tonight. Uh, let's have a this tonight. It's going to be game 14. Um, so about that letter. So we've got North Stars and Brave up in point one and two. Brave one, North Stars two now. And we've got five teams, all pretty tightly, tightly grouped. So I'll see if I get some score updates in the break. Yep. Uh, but we've got the Ice, the Ice Dogs, the Bears, the Mustangs, and the Thunder all in the running there. Yeah, and look, they all play, interestingly enough, similar styles of games as well too. Um, so uh, it's going to be a real struggle for any one of those teams to really challenge the Brave or the North Stars in all seriousness mm -hmm. because uh, the, the, uh, the amalgam of talent that the Brave have is just phenomenal. So that and last night, we yeah. did see that last night. And of course the North Stars, brilliant goaltending, solid defense, and some great scorers. I mean, Sammy Bang is leading the league, so it doesn't get much better than that. He was the last well, night. Well, okay, Cleveland, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> he was Jordan last Draper last night. overtook him last exactly night. I think right. Jesse Gabriel should be too far behind soon. Yeah. 
No um, argument. But Bangers had a great game tonight. Uh, I know he's, I think he's pretty sure he's got at least two, so I'm not sure how many other points he's picked up. Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, we'll have to see how the Brave are doing against the Bears. Yes. That game will be underway by now yep. uh, at Macquarie Centre. So the other games are in Adelaide. Uh, also should have started by now. Yep. Um, so that's the three of them tonight. Yeah, yep. there's one four tonight. All right. Um, any other points uh, that you want to bring up? Well, again, I'm just very, very happy with the way the North Stars have bounced back from what would have been a disappointing game last night for them. I mean, they really wanted to compete with the Brave and show them that there's two teams in this race, not one team. Uh -huh. And uh, to go down like they did 6-2 would have been very disappointing uh, to the team. So to bounce back like they are at the moment and really focus on those little things like getting the puck out of the zone quickly, attacking through the outside so they bring it to the middle, the little subtle things that they've been working on. To see them working tonight against the Thunder would make uh, Coach, uh, uh, Coach Kennedy and Tetralton is also um, Sheffield, very happy about what they've been doing. So uh, it, it, it's good to see a team bounce back like that. Like the North Stars are a good team, good people on that team, and uh, they understand what they need to do to win games. And to tweak it like they've done to get it tonight is just fantastic. Well, Luke Simpson got his first goal in the HL tonight, and we've got Ellie Murray Watts about to talk to him about it. So at the end of the second period, we've got the North Stars leading 5-1. to one. I got that right? 5 to 1? Yeah. <laughs> Against Five to Perth one. Thunder, we'll catch you for the third period soon, but right now, over to Ellie. Hi everyone, Ellie Marie Watts down on the Newcastle North Stars bench. I'm joined by Luke Simpson. We've just wrapped up the second period. It's a 5-1 game to the Newcastle North Stars. A uh, four-goal period for the Newcastle North Stars and one from the Perth Thunder. Uh, Luke, with one of those goals. Luke, how's it going on out there? Yeah, um, obviously going a little bit better than last night. Um, we had a, a big, strong second period there. Uh, obviously, the game's not over, but uh, we like where we're at right now, and uh, I think everyone's contributing. It was a high-scoring period there from you guys. You got four, and there was also one from Perth. Is that what you like to see? Like a lot of like you know goals and the movement paying off? For sure, yeah. Um, a lot of that period we were in their end, which was good. Uh, we cleaned up our penalties too, which helped. Uh, last night we were in the box a lot, but. Uh, we were able to contribute. A lot of lines uh, got on the scoreboard there, and we've seen the, the goal by uh, Bird, so it's nice to see the, the D chipping in with some goals as well. Absolutely. And yeah, so more of, uh, can we expect to see more of the same in the third period from you guys? Yeah, yeah, I think when you have the lead going into the third, it's just important to uh, keep things simple. Uh, you, you don't want to start thinking about points and things like that. Just play the right way, and uh, if everyone plays hard as a team, everything should uh, take care of itself. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Luke. Thanks, Ellie.
Welcome back everyone to Hunter Rice Gaining Stadium for the third and final period here at, Hunter, at this uh, AHL game. It, yes, it is at Hunter Rice Gaining Stadium. Who wants to say it twice? Oh, I did. 5 1 lead for the North Stars after two periods and just doing a couple updates on scores elsewhere. A bit unexpected, Steve. We've got the adrenaline leading 1 0 against the Ice Dogs. Unexpected and then even more unexpected. 2 0 lead for the Bears against the Braves. That's amazing. I mean, Absolutely the Braves are a way better team than us. <laughs> or they got luckier. Let's see. Bro dumps it in. Glove by by Davis and waits up and gets a stop of play. So we'll have a face off to his right. No, I can't really compare game to game. It's not that uh, it's not that black and white, is no, it? No, look the great thing about team sports is you just never know what you're gonna get every time you go out. That's what makes them interesting. Mm. The variability. Do some fun. Davis made the pad save first and the rebound was cleaned up by the defense eventually. All stars dig that out. They got an off man rush. Three against one. Hazelhurst, oh. and then they get an offside. How can you do an offside with a three on one? Somebody's yeah. going to get edged. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thomas Lander is letting the official know that he kind of doesn't think the call was right. <laughs> oh, but I mean, uh, Nick Air is a wonderful official, and he's uh, on the ball. So if he says it was offside, you can guarantee it was offside. He's fast guy. He was on the line, mm. and he's always got a smile. He's great to work with. Into the zone they come. Anger will dump it in, and he's got support here from Hamish Powell. And the ball that goes, draw late. Got to get it back. Angus got there for help. Oh, what no look pass. pass on the stick. And a touch there just over by the stick. And Sean Hamilton breaks it up because that was heading towards the net. Time to go wide. Amy Woodman did a good job tying it up in front of the net as well. You know, it's, it's a big body. He did a good job taking that opportunity away. To the attacking zone. Trey Phillips on the attack again. I hope he's told his team, man, uh, his uh, fellow forwards and centers, just uh, watch out because I'm going to rush here. Yep, I am coming. Be ready. And Phillips gets it in his own end, looking up ice for his teammates to change. Going to take the right wing. And down it comes in behind the net. Oh, great play there by Liam Manwaring to get there first on that icing. Webster waves at it, but it was bouncing. It went under the stick. Loose in front, but it's just a battle between Velo Naden and many others down here in front of us. Oh, Kept it the blue line, keeps it in, and wearing backhand off a stick and into the boards. It was off the stick of Al Sapanla. And that's out of play. Stop a play with 18 13 left in the third 5 1 lead for the North Stars. Well, the North Stars, they're not interested in just winning by 5 1. The pressure they're putting on here is phenomenal. It was great skill there at, on the point by Bert Malloy to keep the puck in and keep the pressure on the Thunder. They had no answer at all other than to shoot the puck out so uh, they could get this face off and settle things down. Ray, we've got one back, Steve, so it's only 2 1 Bears now. I think the first period will be about done in Adelaide. Hazelhurst fires it down ice and he misses everybody so that's icing and we'll get to wait for the puck to come back to him. And I love the way he's uh, scraping at the ice there because it's obviously something was wrong and uh, <laughs> it made the puck go up in the air and uh, yeah it was the divot yeah he's telling everyone look out for that divot there look yeah. out I fixed it don't worry yeah. fellas I fixed it for you and uh, face off and just take him down there McMahon. Well, yeah, McMahon, mm. yeah bit of a feeling. North Stars breaking out of their end. Moving up into the zone go. Broken up by the stick check there. Hazelhurst will send it up. Nice. Mm. And bounces for Malloy to pick up. North Stars with a partial change into the zone goes Malloy looking inside. Simpson down low. Simpson on to it. Hello. Trying to keep the puck out of his face as the two kind of fall. Broken up at the blue line, that causes an offside. We've got 17, 24 left in the third and final period. Now the North Stars seem to be getting caught a little bit in uh, what they got uh, trapped into last night and trying to break everything straight through the middle. And uh, the Thunder, as the Brave did last night, are taking the middle away so that they're losing the puck a lot. They really need to try and attack out wide and then put the puck in the middle once they get into the zone. They've got to secure the zone first, and that's what's not happening at the moment. Stick on. I mean, cool the stick right now, Puck's on the cool the stick. 
Late now to the North Stars. Trey Phillips will take the left wing. Chipped forward and chasing right now is Jaden Ryan, number 10. Looks out of his neck to play that. Ryan goes down to play it. He's out there with Banger. Often is. Well, they with them, but a break. Breaking out are the Abrae. Webster. They've broken up. North Stars will try and break out the other direction. Into the attacking zone. Hand off to Banger. And then is Ryan. Shot. Saved by Vixton off the shoulder. Relay with a shot. That's the kind of style of play I'd love to see them do more of. They came down the corner, put it out in the middle, and then the off great opportunity. Quick pass and shot. Fires a shot again, Relay, and just misses the right corner of the net. Being hit by McLaren. Unfortunately, that's going to be called. And too late, so he's going to sit for two minutes. Yep. That was very obviously too late. Last year it wouldn't have been, but this year with the rule changes, that was definitely too late. And as you saw it happening and you see his eyes get bigger and bigger, you know, this is going to be a penalty. And sure enough, it was. So this is a great opportunity for the North Stars now. Uh, Bilu to and... Kill a uh, uh, to kill a, uh, you mean yeah. Thunder? Yeah, sorry. Uh, just, sorry, Blue and um, Bilu and also uh, Liam Manwaring were exchanging pleasantries. So obviously he didn't like that hit at all from Manwaring. But yeah, no, the Thunder need to put the puck in the net right now if they want to get back in this game. This is going to be super important. Thunder on the power play. North Stars carrying the puck at the moment, and they chip it out of the zone. Bro, back to Velo. Bro with a shot, saved by Davis. And again, if uh, the Thunder were looking for a face-off, that was a wonderful shot. That was a great play. But if they're actually looking for a goal, it's a bit useless just throwing it at Dane Davis's emblem because, I mean, he's going to suck them up all night long. I'm pleased if I get it on anywhere near the net. <laughs> Face off to the right of Davis. That goes for Hazelhurst. Doubles back. Goes cross ice. Now at the top of the umbrella. So Thunder set up. Hazelhurst sends it back. Moving across. The far side, shot on it by Velo and into the glove of Davis, who snatches it out of the air with 15.40 left in the game. The guy is so, so happy with Davis and the way he's actually got his glove position for all those shots. It's not by accident, it's just perfect positioning. Uh, all the uh, Thunder can do is put it into his glove. They need to change the tactic because they're not going to score there. And their first goal was scored on his blocker side. That's what they should be shooting, not his glove. He's off. Thunder win this one. They had the puck. Velo to Hazelhurst. Back to Hazelhurst. Through the screen. Blocked by the North Stars. Jane Ryan. Hazelhurst. Oh, such a jelly yeah. to keep that in. Was and he can move so fast. Velo. Blocking the blue line. Swaps position with Hazelhurst. Through the screen. Davis has got it. No yeah. goal for the Thunder. Yeah, well, Davis just looked at it. Come all the way through straight at him. It seems to have uh, tickled something because he's not comfortable. The soft tissue, I think. Maybe One. it's the fact that he's had 2,000 shots right in the emblem. <laughs> and finally one's hurt him. <laughs> They've won a hole through it. Mm. Just under a minute left in this power play for the Thunder. They win it again. Back to Hazelhurst. Quickly moving the puck. Swapping positions with Velo. They've got some good communication going. Hazelhurst. Gets it back down to the half boards. Swapping positions now. What have we got there? Oh, good good play, Dave Ferrari, to sneak that puck. It was uh, Tobin that we were working with in the corner. To get the number. Bro, drops it behind it for Hazelhurst. Great defensive play by Hazelhurst. Right going the other way. Well, he stops up. Waiting for support. Here comes Trey Phillips. Spins about, shakes off Hazelhurst, gets around another. Now Webster's got the, uh, the stick and gets it off him. A good control from Phillips, just killing more time on this power play, on this penalty kill. And we're even. And wearing back on the ice, he's heading for a change. Woodman with some speed, going to go the right wing. Comes it in, but to just... The ricochet is off Richard Tesserick. 
Well, starts carrying. They're going to take the left wing. In they come. Let's wreck inside. Whoops. Out of the zone they go. Dolay back to his defence. Right wing. Got the middle this time. And Lindsay to the point man. Some slick moves by Tesserick. Oh, it's got to be a hold. Yeah. yeah. Very easy trip. Yeah. Or a hold, is it? Oh, yeah. You wrap his arm straight around him and pull him down. The old can opener from McMahon. Yeah, may not have done it on purpose, but uh, certainly when you do it right in front of the referee, there's a good chance it's going to get no, picked he up. He got him pretty good. He just levered him off there. Pretty easy call. Follow Jeff Scott. 5-1 lead still for the North Stars. That's still a little bit disappointing for McMahon because he's actually had a really good game. He's great speed and he's been uh, busy in everything tonight. So they're going to miss him. He's a lad of mistake now. <laughs> to the blue line, Malloy. To the bang out, fakes for Malloy. Off in the circle, spins about, does Trey Phillips, shakes off an attacker, moves it in. But he had two men for checking in. Phillips now sneaking right in on net. Oh. James out of Vixen's got it. Pat and uh, Naden got right down on the ice. That was in the wheelhouse, but he just couldn't connect on the we shot. We had three pretty good attacking plays. Had Drolle, Phillips, and Naden all circling Vixen there. Yeah, Banger's sort of giving him a bit of hints about where he should be. He was just a little bit too deep. He needed to be a little bit taller in the uh, in the slot area. That would get the puck to him better. Very self. One, thanks to Naden, goes out to the point man, Malloy. Reflected and goes wide into the corner for Banger. To the point. Side for Phillips. Other side Malloy between the circles. Nets off. <laughs> and a good push on that net will take it off. Yeah. Uh, this can get a good push on the net there. <laughs> that was one of the biggest pushes I've seen in the net. Ooh. Oh, it happened by accident. <laughs> yeah. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt, Pete, but I mean, it certainly didn't look like it. There actually. was no one else around him, so it was definitely fixed in. It was just a matter of mistake or not. Uh, accidental or not. Well, certainly our referee believes it was, and that's the only thing that matters. I think it's okay. Open been waved at. Or waved at, as the new rules would say. We're getting each other's road, eh? Now they spread out. Lander. Gets it to the point. Waits, back to land at half point. Down low, Tessera, he's got the puck. In front. Oh, Lindsay. Lindsay sneaking in to go on the, sh on the uh, quiet area. But, couldn't connect. Oh, the play was right, just needed to connect. Well, it starts getting in each other's way a little bit, this power play. In a couple of collisions or near collisions. or Tessera now into the circles. From a cute angle, saved by Vixton with the pad. Jaden Ryan right there in front. And again. And Lindsay mm. tries to get it through the screen. Cute angle though, and went through that and out the other side. Tesserick. Get some help from Ryan. Tesserick. Ryan will head out in front of the net. He does. Good mm -hmm. Hazelhurst. Lander. Well done, Lander. Body position, fantastic. Lindsay, wait, shoots, saved by Vixton with a pad. Hazel Hurst chips it out off the glass. Knows this work well, played here for the North Stars last season. Oh, North Stars man. sending the puck towards the Thunder, Thunder bench, maybe to try and force a too many pen penalty. Uh, well, the, uh, the pass was to, to Sarek, but he wasn't quite ready for it. So, face off will go back down deep into the North Stars zone. 11 minutes 21 to go. I'll tell you, Pete. Thunder are going to want a goal pretty quick if they want to get back into this game. Otherwise, they're just going to go through the motions. Uh, of goals, we've not had one in Sydney. It's still 2-1 after two. After the first period, pardon me. Um, in Sydney, in the Quarry Centre. There's leading. All stars going up the left wing, driving down the middle. Now oh, Tetsuik has to turn around. Ends it off into the zone they come, Trolley driving the net. He's going to button hook. He's got two men on him. Now he's got some help from Phillips. Out of the zone they go, though, so they'll need to get back on side. 
Malay touches it, leaves it oh, for oh, his oh, teammate. Oh. In comes Banga in front. Phillips is pinching in, looking for a, looking for a, a puck. Well, he loves playing an attack, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, he looks like another forward. Unlucky. In the corner, Drolet. Yes, I'd get out of the way too. Kevin Fellow on, on, coming in on me. Anger. Moving backwards, gets to the point man. Fired in. That's Paddy Ward. Originally from Scotland, if you haven't heard him in an interview. Jackson Pipco on team. I understand him quite well. <laughs> I, I quite enjoy listening to some Glaswegian. It's good to see Hamish Powell getting some minutes out there as well too, and he's doing a good job. He's keeping the pressure on. Good luck. It's a nice pass to Webster. Actually, maybe a bit too much because he's going past him into the North Stars. Lloyd back and forth, shaking off some checks in the zone. He goes. Doesn't have the puck though, but he does take out a couple of them. Oh, yeah. He's going to go for that, Hamilton. It'll be interesting to see what the call's going to be. Going to touch the puck, so there is a penalty, and okay, Steve says it's slashing. going on Sean Hamilton. Two minutes slash on Burt Malloy. He's driving through the middle of them there. Yeah, I just didn't like the play, and so uh, he, he sort of gave a bit of, bit to Bert Malloy, but uh, I think he's very lucky he got away with a slashing call, to tell you the truth. Seemed to be uh, a bit more involved in that. A bit more deliberate. A bit more double minor sort of slash. I'll just leave it away. Back nice underway. Face off win. Lander wins it. Gets it back to the point man. Through the screen. Picked up by Tesserick. Circles around. Only for the blue line, Simpson. A good row right in front. Nixon moving nicely side to side. Re def oh. A little deflection off Jane Ryan, but it doesn't go in. Shot saved by Vixton. Gets the rebound. So this is excellent power play by the North Stars. It's uh, interesting it's taken this long for it to, to start to work, but uh, at least it is starting to work now, and they're putting a lot of pressure on the Thunder goaltender. And they're also shooting the puck, which is always my favorite if you're on a power play. Lovely to pass it, but really shooting is what's going to score your goals. So set up, but then shoot it. North Stars with the puck, Trey Phillips. Malloy with him, and D. And up by for Drolet right now. He's got Banker down low. He gets the puck now. In front is Pat Naden doing the spade work. Battling away there with Lyndon Lodge. Ooh, Banger. Wide. It's the wrong side of him there. And stepping out of the way of that puck was then in Bora, the linesman. Stopped by Davis in the North Stars end. North Stars will need to break out. They've got over a minute left in this power play. Shot and a save by Vixton Malloy, hoping for two tonight. Well, it worked in the first period for him. Why wouldn't he try it again? Absolutely. Malloy across the blue line to Drolet. Banger in front, along with Pat Naden. Pat Naden there to act as screen. We'll pick up the puck behind the net. Oh, nice move in front. Phillips coming in on the pinch. Well, and Pat Naden for seeing that as well, too, and setting it up. Heads up hockey. More stars. Going to chip and chase this one. As they're changing. They've been out there for a long time and it's most of the power play gone. Nixon's clearing the tip. Doesn't work. It's a two. It was loose in front for Tesserick. Watch out. The two checkmates are out there. Tesserick and Lander. A pretty good combo as we saw last night. They scored one of the two goals. Saved by Vixton. Gets a shoulder up and sends it up above the net. Aiden floored there. There's a lot of battles in front of the net. It's great stuff. Not for the faint-hearted. Oh. Lindsay sends it deep. Tesserick shakes off a hit. Another. Gets a puck in. And another shot through oh. the screen. And it's saved by Vixton. That name again. And smothered by Vixton. Woodman looks very tired. <laughs> he is. Well, that was a battle and a half. There was so much red around the net. And uh, the Thunder did a wonderful job keeping them away and not allowing the North Stars to have as many shots as they probably wanted to have out there on that, uh, on that power play. Face off, one by Velo. Nice, clean face off win. Dave Cooler gets it 
way up the left wing row to Velo. Velo's working hard tonight. He's everywhere. He's had a great day. Down deep in the North Star's end at the moment. North Star's trying to break out. Kept in there by Kruba. That was rough, probably. Was rough. Yeah. Jake. Jake Rock, yep. Well, Stars passes wide, trying to get in net. Oh. Phillips, and it was just behind him, and he had to stretch out, couldn't get a shot away. Now through the screen, and that's deflected wide. Neiman Waring buzzing around. Making a nuisance of himself. Keeping Pundler busy. A Ferrari gets a shot away. It's a uh, touch, but smothered by Vixen. 6.17 left. I tell you, Liam Manwaring's had a fantastic weekend. He may not be rewarded with points and all that sort of stuff, but uh, his face-off work last night was outstanding, and he actually got a tip on that puck then. Who, uh, you know, what a brilliant job by Vixen to hold it out. But he's really played well this weekend. He should be very proud of himself. He, uh, during attempt, was around the boards and out. Well, Clinic's on again. Why not? Puck thrown back by the Thunder and back to pick it up is Thomas Clinic. All stars breaking out of their zone. They enter neutralize. Backing up is Hazelhurst. It spins and has a look. First to it is Ryan. It's back to Banger. Can't get through. Arn. Send it back around for Hazelhurst. Well, they peels off to Fortchek. Mine gets it way up the left wing and chasing it is Lyndon Lodge. Huck ribbles down into the Thunder Zone on end. It's through by Woodman. He's moving it forward to Velo up the left wing. Simpson can't cut him off, drives the net, takes a shot, saved by Davis. Again, Davis says, oh, and you hit me somewhere else other than the end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but again, it's, it's because he's just so well positioned that uh, all those pucks are hitting him there tonight. So it's, it's a, again, another wonderful game by North Star goalie Dane Davis. This is also an indicator that Kim Velo was alone. He didn't have someone inside the pass to, to make Correct. Davis move. That's what you're going to need most of the time in the NHL. The corner, battles continue. Thunder doing well. Low, shakes up a hit. And he's got two men in himself. All stars, good. Or check going the other way. Scott on then and a save by Vixton Simpson there. I think it was either on the pads or on the logo. But it was I think it was on the logo as well too. But again, this is the kind of play I love seeing the North Stars do. When they do this, they're dangerous. They came down through the middle, but very quickly got it out wide and brought the puck in wide and then actually put the puck back into the middle to the trailing player to get that opportunity and shot away. So it didn't score that time, but that's the one kind of opportunity you want to get. Under with the puck, Hazelhurst. So the Dogs have scored two goals, so they do leave the adrenaline now. Loose, picked up, shot on net by McMahon, and saved by Davis. Now behind the net, and frozen. Got caught on the 4 net. 4.24 left, still 5 1, Steve. No, yeah, well he shoots, he scores this period. No, that uh, McMahon, again, just buzzing around, uh, making a nuisance of himself. I mean, he's, he's had a pretty good game. Uh, I haven't seen him play this season, so I'm very impressed with the energy that he's bringing. Face off outside of the North Star zone. Castle win it. Hazelhurst. And so it's one of the North Star's players here. stick. And I think it's going to be enough for a hooking call. And poor old Liam Manwaring. That's unfortunately part of the what's going to happen when you're playing an aggressive game, which is his style. That's the way he plays. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes sticks are going to get in the wrong areas and you're going to get punished. Tried to let go of it, but uh, Hazelhurst saw his predicament and made sure you got penalised. All right, Pete. Four goals, four minutes. 
Let's go. Let's see how they go. Thunder. Have the puck. We've got the power play. Good way to start it. Shot in there. Big real house there below. And stopped by Davison. Smothered. Jeez, he battled well for that, Davis, and grabbed it. He did look through a few players and find it, but he did. Great job. Another, Another face-off. Did Luke shoot that puck ball? I really would. That's such a strong shot. Yeah. Big levers. And look. Hmm. Stopped by Nixton. Hazelhurst skates it around behind his net. Loads the forecheck by handing it off to Velo. Escape and loose. And oh, that's an yeah, easy call. Tripping. Yep. Tripped up accidentally there, but Simpson. Oh, yeah, slashing. Oh, his Malloy goes down. Uh, must have been slashing the skates then. And it's Rob Hazelhurst. The French is a call in the end. Well, I think the arm actually like a slash. The arm may actually call the slash. That's right. Doesn't matter, it's two minutes it's all the same. Two minutes, so we're going four on four now. This should be exciting, Peter. Back to the North Stars D. Roy hands off. To Lindsay. Captain to assistant captain, Lander. Has to deal with Raman, who has had a really good game. Though. It's really got into the North Stars' faces a bit. Very active, lots of energy. Shot is high and gloved by Vixton, who throws the puck away for linesman Daniel Bora. Yeah, nice setup there by the North Stars to get that shot away. Unfortunately for Ciceric, it was way too high. and Nothing was ever going to come from that. It was way over the net. But at least they set that up well. And he's certainly one player you wouldn't mind him shooting. He does have a good set of hands. So there's... 1-11 till the North Stars have a short power play. Right now it's 4-4. Four four. North Stars push it towards net, but it's just wide. Short side of Vixen's net. Webster. Voids a check. Can't stop losing the puck. North Stars organising in their own end. they four players. Dumped in off the boards by Ward. Vixen out to play it. He waits. Just sends it to Woodman, who has to double back. <laughs> and then lost it. The look on his face, he was so disappointed with himself. <laughs> Into the zone he goes, taking it deep. Now behind the net, hands it off. Good race, one by the North Stars. They're going to hand back the other way to the attacking zone. Drops it off in the Southwood. Yes. To Tesserick. A couple of coasties. Central coast, an area between Sydney and Newcastle, which where several of our players come from. Southwood. Tesserick. Backhand, saved by Vixen with a pad, wow. hangs the pad out, beautiful save. And he uses tippy toes to reach that one, Steve. I tell you, I think he had one pad on one side of the boards and the other pad on the other side. He's had Jeez. his legs extended. That was a huge save. <laughs> the stars, Manga, we go in the middle, ends it off, Phillips fakes. It's it away to Drolet. Phillips down below the red line where he likes to play his D. <laughs> <laughs> nice chance to set up. Oh, oh just so close. Banger tries Sammy the short Banger. side. That was his hat trick right there. Now we're back to even. Don't have that man back. Chance in front. Shoot scores! Yeah, Jaden Ryan. Jaden Ryan gets his, I think it's his first, first. North Stars. I think it's his yeah. first. Yep. First North Stars goal. Oh, second. Well, I tell you, he's pretty excited. Maybe it's his first goal in the third period, I don't know. But I mean, he's pretty excited about that. Why not? What a great smile on the face. He did play for was it the Bears several years back. He's been mostly an East Coast Hockey League player. Actually, it must be his first, because uh, Bert Malloy grabbed the puck and just threw it to uh, Coach Kennedy, so you would think it was his first. Yeah. All right, confirm first. First goal, congrats to Jane Ryan, who's very excited. He was so excited. He was yeah. unbelievably excited. He was. Well done to him. 6 1 lead now. So, that's uh, uh, been wearing right now. Down low. Dave Kubler keeping him wide. All starts quickly setting up in the Thunder Zone. Shot on net. Off shin pads, and back it goes to Malloy. So, Davis will have to stop it as he's heading towards uh, the net. Malloy now on the puck. Out of their zone. 
This is the man. And well, I think you're trying to pardon me, Mixers had to play it. At the blue line. Reflection attempt by Naden goes wide to the net. And he wrestles behind the net with a cooler. A good battle, good battle. Well done by Pat Naden. Oh, jeez. Oh, good push. <laughs> Worry now to get to one from Man. At least they're taking it up on their men. Stolen by Hazelhurst. He's going to drive towards the net. Forced out wide though. Lost stars retrieve the puck. Goodman. Circles around. Great skills. Gets the puck back. Gets a chance on net. Fires. It's off shin pads and wide for Matthew Lindsay. Hello. It's Paddy Ward. And we're done. Well, it wasn't a close game, but it was a bit of fun, Steve. Oh, absolutely. And I mean, uh, it's little moments like seeing Jaden Ryan being so excited to score his first goal for the North Stars in the uh, AIHL this year. That, that makes it worthwhile doing that because. There's nothing better than scoring goals, nothing better than scoring your first goal, so it's just fantastic. But it was a complete game by the North Stars, they really played well. It took them a long time to get the defensive zone sorted out, so they got out, got out of their zone quickly and transitioned to offense. But uh, once they actually got that right in the second period, it was just an avalanche. But that last period, they just had the game, wrestled with it. They didn't have to do anything, they were up 5-1. It's true, but they uh, only scored the one that period, but they did have plenty of chances. Thunder kind of got it together a bit and and, um, and uh, they seemed to well the, the D was working hard all night. Yep. Yeah, they were, they were carrying well. I think they sorted out some problems they had in the previous period and it took you a power play. It was just after the power play. It was just after the power play. Yep. Just after, yep. um, for them to score, but yeah, a bit of fun here. Uh, Thunder, we knew they'd have a tough time tonight. They're missing an import. They're missing Andrew Cox, who's almost May as well call him an input quality. Absolutely. One of the best players on the New Zealand Ice Black team. Well, wasn't so Andrew Cox their captain for a year or two? I think so. Yeah, so to lose that sort of experience, uh, he's a great player, but to lose that experience in the dressing room as well, that uh, doesn't help, you know. So, uh, oh look, credit to them. It's wonderful they've come over here. They tried hard, but really the North Stars just too complete tonight. Mm -hmm. So the Thunder, um, they're going to need a couple wins to get back in the race. Uh, last yep. we saw Ice Dogs had got ahead of the Adelaide yeah, Adrenaline. Right. Adrenaline. And, yeah, got that right, yeah. And uh, we, last we saw the Bears were still leading the Braves, but mm. that was only first period, so yeah. things have changed. There's a long way to go there. Yeah, yeah, but for the North Stars, up to 36 points, only seven points short of reaching 50%. Um, and that's not bad considering we're uh, not even at 50%. Yet. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. They've had a good season, the North Stars. They're playing well. Um, <laughs> they're playing really well. They're so fast. It's got great offense and certainly brilliant defense, uh, led by obviously Dane Davis. Another great night tonight. Uh, it was very difficult for anything to get through to him. And the one goal that they did score was a beauty. So, uh, uh, and I'm sure he'd be you know, obviously disappointed with love a shutout. But I mean, the fact that they had to do something brilliant to score a goal on him sort of bodes well for how well he's playing. So uh, yeah, the team, the team is starting to really look good. They're gelling, they're playing well. It's uh, it's a real credit to the coaching staff that they're playing as well as they are. Well, we've got the Ice Dogs here next weekend. It, it's our Canada Day uh, weekend. Yes. Although we could do we could do a Fourth of July thing here as well too. We've got a few Americans yep. along with our captain, and uh, but with the way players have moved around, we've now got four imports. So we're all Canadian, okay, and of course. Uh, to and Gary and plenty of the people around here at Canadian, so we're going to enjoy celebrating that next week. We have had some 4th of July, so they're a bit of fun too. <laughs> Remember, uh, with Bales and uh, those guys here, we had a good time with that. Uh, so, Ice Dogs game, and then we got, I think we've only got one or two games here within about a month and a half. Well, we've had a lot of home games. Yeah, we got Joe's going to road a lot. Yeah. So, uh, then it's going to get quiet around this rink for a while until we get a few at the end there. Yeah, look. At the beginning of the season, it looked like the North Stars were playing a lot of the softer teams to sort of get to the position that they were in. But, I mean, they've been consistent. They've continued that along. I mean, 
The only uh, team that really has looked better than them at the moment is obviously the Braves. They looked very good last night. But uh, they've, as I said, they've gelled really well. They're playing as a great unit. And uh, uh, it's, they've had some adversity, losing imports, injuries, concussion, shoulders, whoops, upper body injuries. Uh, it, it's, you know, it, th- those sort of things can really sometimes ruin a team, but not the North Stars. Uh, great leadership uh, on the ice, off the ice, and uh, they're, they're playing well. They're mm-hmm. really playing well. Uh, Davis, another standout night for him. Did great. Um, who else do you want to uh, give kudos to? Well, actually, well, Nico Vixton. I thought he had a good oh, game, too. Well, he was pummeled. He was absolutely pummeled. He took pummeled. so many shots and yep. lots of great chances, too. So I thought he did a good job. Yep. When he could, he got the rebounds. Correct. Uh, he quite he smothered quite well. He had some great saves with the pads. Yep. Yeah. No, McMahon had a good game for uh, Thunder as well. He was buzzing all over the place. I mean, it's almost impossible to go past Jamie Woodman or even um, uh, Rob Hazlehurst on the Thunder. They, they always play well. They're always... 150% commitment. I haven't seen Sean Tobin play for a while, so it was interesting to, to see him play. He actually won our most valuable player for the under-18s one year in uh, Serbia. So he's a very good player. Mm-hmm. He's an excellent player, but I haven't seen him uh, around very much, so it was good to watch him out there on the ice tonight. And uh, I thought Lyndon Lodge had a good game too. I mean, there wasn't any really bad players for the Thunder at all. It's just that the North Stars controlled the game and they got the goals when they needed to get the goals. Yeah, they were rolling three lines. They had a couple of advantages, which they used. Yeah, and the North Stars. I mean, Thomas Lander, you know, like, he's unbelievable, that man. He is just at you, at you, at you. And he's always dangerous when he's got the puck. You never know what's going to happen when he's got the puck. And... Phillips, obviously, is, is, is a wonderful player, as is Simpson. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, again, when you give those guys a puck, just everyone starts to get on their feet because you don't know what's going to happen next, you know? And that's the kind of excitement you want to create uh, when you're players. So, it, 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 great game. The North Stars played well. Well, in the end, it was a North Stars win 6-1 to one against the Perth Thunder here at Hunter Rice Skating Stadium. And that puts the North Stars on 36 points. 36. The Thunder now up to 15, I believe. I think it went to 12 last night, now to 15. So going well, the North Stars. Thunder have got some work to do. Uh, so that'll be it for Steve and I tonight. We're here next week for the Ice Dogs. But for now, stick around for North Stars Live. We're going to have chats with players and uh, coaches of both teams. And so stick around for those. Until next time, good night from Steve and I. Good night, everyone. Welcome back to North Stars Live. We've just wrapped up our game here at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium. The Newcastle Rescue North Stars have defeated Perth Thunder uh, 6-1. 
So, yeah, it was a pretty, it was a, a kind of a weird game in the sense that it was very low scoring in one and three. But in our period two, which oh, I think traditionally it's pretty, you know, low scoring is where all the scoring was done. Yeah, yeah, period two definitely had a lot more scoring. Um, and then, yeah, the, I guess the defence in, in Perth Thunder uh, came out yep. in period three. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it was a... Um, it was like a ret- it was a return to the North Stars, like that was the North Stars right. we know out there. Um, last night, we, we, a lot of us commented we didn't know where the um, North Stars that we've come to know and uh, love. Yep. they uh, played their born. hockey. They played their their style of hockey, which is exactly what JFK said that, that needed to be done. They just needed to be playing like they've been playing all year, playing yep. themselves, and they did tonight. And um, yeah, able to get that big win over um, Perth Thunder. Yeah, and the passes were connecting. Yep. They weren't going to the other team, which was, you know, yeah, good. Absolutely. So, yeah, a good uh, good couple of ho- or cool couple of goals from um, the guys tonight. Pat Naden with the first goal in the first period. That was a nice little icebreaker. I was pretty stoked. Chatted with him in the um, in the break. He was pretty happy to get up on that scoreboard there. Uh, Luke Simpson with uh, another goal uh, tonight. Sammy Banger with two. Captain Burt Malloy with one. And um, Jaden Ryan with his first ARHL goal to wrap it all up there in the um, the final period. The only goal in the final period. And um, Kevin Velo from uh, Perth Thunder with uh, Perth's uh, lone goal there in the in the second period. So, yeah. And, yeah. you know, Jaden was really excited. You see the big <laughs> smile on his face. You could see the pure elation. It yep. was just the hands up in the air, the, uh, the, the face on him, and then all the guys just embracing him. Yep. That, that's what it's all about. It's great it's good to get that, that monkey off the back. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, first AOHL goal is always special. Yeah. Get the pack tonight. That'll be great. Definitely. So, yeah, Tori, run us through uh, your impressions of the game tonight. Um, we, were, we were just saying, you know, we are playing our style of hockey, but um, where do you think maybe Perth Thunder went um, a little sideways there? Yeah, I think um, I think they've lost a lot of confidence. Um, I think you know their season started quite slow. Um, they played uh, Canberra Brave four times already, yeah. so they've you know faced some tough sides. Yeah. Um, and I think you know last night's loss as well. I think it's really not the confidence. Yeah. Um, it's really hard to like travel away and go home with no points as well. Yeah. Like yeah, you you kind of put in all that effort and you try and you try and then for no reward. It'd be really tough. So, um, but the the guys did put in a really good game. Yeah, up definitely. There. You know, the third period their defense. I think yeah, you know, the second period probably that let them down. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, the defense in the in the third and. I guess there wasn't that many penalties either. Well, I was so going to say, there were, it was a low penalty game, but I, we, we got more penalties than Perth did. I only saw those guys in the box maybe three or four times, so they didn't let it go get to them too badly, like the, yeah. the pressure of the game to end up in the box. Yeah, keeping you could see head. their frustrations. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they you know they didn't draw silly penalties from yeah, that, absolutely. so that was good. Yeah, so, yeah, any other impressions from tonight's game? Uh, well, I had a look at the shots on goal. Um, so, North Stars faced 33 goals. Uh, sorry, 33 Good shots. shots. Um, and Perth Thunder was 20. Oh, okay. So, you know, you could see the difference in the um, offence there. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, Perth Thunder actually have a, a, a bit of a run at Adelaide next. Yes, they have a bit of an easier run, I would say. Um, so, they play at home next weekend. Um, against Adelaide as a double header, and then the following week they go to Adelaide. Um, so I guess they've played Canberra four times, now they're playing Adelaide four I, times four in a row. Times in a block. Yeah. Yeah, and then the Newcastle North Stars are back at Hunter Ice Skating Stadium next Saturday. They play uh, against the Sydney Ice Dogs for the second time, and it's a Canada Day clash. So for anyone who is coming to the game, uh, wear your red and white, wear your Canada colours. Uh, we'd love to see you. Yep, there'll be face painting. And, um, yeah, we'll have some activities. Yeah. Trying to get someone to sing the Canadian um, anthem. Yeah, <laughs> that's always like, makes it maybe special. Maybe we could get one of the imports. You know, we do have oh, quite wow. a few imports. Well, I remember Scotty, Scotty, Scotty Swiston. Swiston. Yeah, he used to, he sang the um, Canadian anthem. Yeah. We were, we were Actually, no, he, he did the um, Australian anthem. He did the Australian <laughs> anthem, that's right. Yeah. Well, we should definitely get... so proud of him. Yeah, well, we've got four Canadian imports. We should definitely get one of them to sing at least the Canadian anthem. Maybe get one of them to bust out in the Australian anthem. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Well, I think we'll get uh, John Kennedy Jr. on, uh, our coach JFK from the North Stars, and have a bit of a chat about tonight's game. It's Tori, I'll see you back soon. 
So that, yeah, we'll just get um, John Kennedy Jr. on Coach JFK to have a chat about the North Stars game tonight. Hey, John. Ellie. How's it going? Good. Someone messed with my mic. Well, it was on the other side yesterday. Yeah, we've swapped them over. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Make. So, yeah, um, you guys look like you're yourselves out there tonight. Oh, yeah, we looked Best a lot better. Oh, uh, we, we, we responded very well yep. from yesterday. Um, we had some, uh, looked over some tape, talked to a few players, and uh, got to back to playing North Star Hockey. Yeah, absolutely. And so, yeah, run us through tonight's game from your perspective. Um, things were working out well for you. You do Look, yeah, es what essentially everything that we talked about yesterday. Yeah. The boys were communicating. Um, like yesterday, I, I didn't feel like we were working as a team, yeah. as a unit. Tonight we were. We were helping each other, um, you know, whether anywhere on the ice. Yeah. Just support on the defensive side, communicating, being more assertive on yeah. our defensive play, offensively supporting each other up the ice, and, and it came together today. And you saw that um, with the puck possession, with the, the opportunities that we received, and obviously with the score. Um, we've, we have talked about this before. Every guy puts in effort out in the ice there because we had a variety of goal scorers tonight um, and, you know, a variety of guys with the assists as well. So everyone really is, you know, out there on the ice putting Look, in. When we, when we don't have spectators and when we don't have guys waiting for someone else to do the job, yep. we're a successful team. Where we get in trouble is where we expect someone else to do our own job. Yep. And, and that's what – and that's – you know, I mean, we've had one of those games, maybe two. Mm -hmm. So, like, as a percentage for our team, yeah. I'm happy. Yeah. Like, we're a strong team. We're a consistent team. And we just got to keep building off of this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Something like uh, Saturday night can kind of snowball into players' confidence yeah. and, you know, us thinking too much, changing lines and doing different things. But, like I said, I'm happy with our lines. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with the way that uh, players are gelling together. Yeah. And I don't think we have to press the panic button. No, absolutely not. You guys seem to have, you know, yeah, sh shaken off Saturday night pretty easily and yeah. come out here, played your game, and the scoreboard shows oh, that result. Look, there's a lot of season left yeah, for, for everyone. So everyone's going to get better. Everyone has to readjust here and there. And um, like I said, I'm very proud of the way our boys responded. Uh, full credit to the Perth Thunder. I know they were uh, a couple shorthanded with a few of their players getting game yeah. suspensions. But at the end of the day, you know, you have to get as many points as you Man. can. And um, Jaden Rowan's first AOHL goal, um, absolutely elated out there. <laughs> he uh, was. Yeah, no, like, you, you can see it on his <laughs> yeah. face. And, like, to be honest, he's been given, you know, opportunities to play with us, and he's been very humble about it, and he's been very appreciative. And he puts the effort in day in and day out, and, and especially in practice and off the ice as well. So to yeah. see a player like that kind of for things to, you know, bounce his way yeah. and, and take care of the puck. Look, yeah. And in situations like that, back when I was playing, sometimes I got a little bit too nervous and I would have <laughs> shot it wide, but he took care of it and put it in the back of the net, so I'm very proud of him. Yeah, beautiful. And so, yeah, next up for you guys is the Sydney Ice Dogs again. Yep. Um, yeah, here at home, it's a Canada Day clash. Um, yeah, what are, you, what are you thinking for the Ice Dogs? Is, is something similar to the first game with them or a little bit more? Oh, uh, look, yeah. now that both teams have seen each other, um, they're contending for a playoff spot, so you know they're going to come out hard. Uh, the biggest thing for us is is learning from this past Saturday and making sure that we, um, one, don't take any team for granted, but that we come out playing our game from the get-go and we're working together, communicating. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think much is going to change. I think it was a tight game last time. I believe it will be a tight game again. Yep. And uh, we have to be ready to play three periods of good hockey. Yeah, absolutely. And just before I let you go, um, John, uh, how we're now at past the halfway mark yep. of the season. We're into that second half. But overall, the first half of the season, are you are you pretty happy with how everything's gone? It, you know, I know you um, you joined us as coach yep. this year. Is this what you where you wanted to be at this point in the season? Uh, to be honest, it's, it's probably beyond where I, yeah. I thought. Like, obviously, I um, assess where we were at last year but at the end of the day this organization is is one of the, the tops in the league and we expect to be in the playoffs each and every year so um we wanted like i i know we wanted to come out the gate flying and we did yeah. uh you know based on our schedule we were able to do that but uh yeah i don't think we're in a position where we can press cruise control oh, yeah, no, we have a lot of things to work on but from the coaching staff perspective we're in a good position yeah. and we just want to keep rolling with it yeah absolutely all righty well i'll let you get uh, get going i'm gonna have a chat with Alyssa just about some stats all righty no problem I'll catch thank you, you next time bye <laughs> see you john 
That was John Kennedy, uh, coach of the Newcastle North Stars, just having a chat about tonight's game. He's pretty pleased and he's beyond pleased with how this, uh, the North Stars are going this season overall. And now we're going to get uh, Alyssa Longmuir on and have a bit of a chat about the um, stats side of the game. Hey, Alyssa. Wait, I just got to get I'm too short chair. for these things. <laughs> okay, I think I'm good. You good? No, JFK has a bigger head than me. We're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We've got you. We've got you. So, yeah, talk to us about that game from a stats point of view. Well, I'm not going to say too much about no, the stats. Like More about us, doing... Us. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, no, it's been really interesting uh, actually working with a team this yeah. season, uh, obviously. People have been around for a little while. They probably know I'm usually floating around with some form of notepad in my hand uh, <laughs> regardless. Uh, but, yeah, the past couple of seasons I've just been doing commentary, kind of, I don't know, screaming it into the void, kind of <laughs> hoping someone will listen. Uh, but, yeah, this season, uh, working with the team's been really good. Uh, so, you know, starting to look at some of that more in-depth stuff yep. than what you're not getting from the box store and things like that, which is really a direction uh, we're starting to see teams uh, all around the world kind of head in. So it's nice to... I guess pioneering that a little bit in Australia. Yeah. So, well, yeah, can you tell us a little bit about what a game looks like for you? You're helping with the North Stars. Uh, yeah. So, I rock up uh, a couple of hours before the game. I usually have a chat uh, with the coaches about anything that I've uh, spotted during the week because I do watch the games a number of times. <laughs> uh, so, for anyone who's like, uh, get your head out of the spreadsheet, trust me when I say I watch the games more than you do. <laughs> You've been warned. <laughs> As people I was like, yeah, I have a spreadsheet open while I'm watching the games, but like I'm watching individual plays multiple times kind of thing. So yeah, have a chat with the coaches, uh, get set up in the booth and make sure all of my uh, sheets and everything I need to track on are all set up and ready to go. And yeah, then just uh, recording the stuff I do uh, during the games, heading down, chatting to coaches in an admission, anything I'm seeing. Yeah. And then post-game reviews and stuff like that. So, so what is it that you are tracking during the game? Well, that is a secret. <laughs> okay, yeah, no worries, no worries. But, yeah, tracking mm -hmm. and reporting back. So, yeah. yeah, the coach can sort of see what's going on and then adjust play where, where yeah. necessary. So I look more kind of on the micro level, yeah. I guess. Uh, whereas if you're a coach, you're looking on the bench, you're kind of trying to look at the whole team and what everyone is doing. Yeah. Uh, or, like, even if you're an assistant coach, you usually got, like, you know, a speciality. You're yeah. either looking at the penalty kill or you're looking at the power play or you're focusing on the D, whereas yep. I'm kind of looking at every single player by themselves yep. all the time. Uh, mm -hmm. Not so much how they function as a team unit. Like, I'm, I'm not there for tactics yep. kind of thing. I'm there to work out who's performing well uh, and evaluating the players in the situations they've been put in, essentially. Yeah. And, well, it's, well, I think your work's been working pretty well. Um, yeah, we're only two losses for the North Stars so far this season, so I think something, uh, you might be the secret weapon. <laughs> Not going to take all the credit. <laughs> yeah, take all the credit. No, I'm It's joking. definitely a yeah. great coaching staff, and um, all the boys this year have been trying really yeah. hard. So, But, yeah, it has been nice. Occasionally I'll say something, and then, you know, the next period or the next game, I'll, like, kind of see it happening on the ice, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That one's me, folks. Yeah. <laughs> so from your perspective, uh, Alyssa, what was tonight's game game like? Like, you know, you, you're tracking it and looking at it like that. So, I don't know, where were the North Stars going well? Where was Perth going well? Or where were they both sort of um, need to do some little work? I think we had a really good bounce back after last night. Uh, obviously, uh, anyone who saw that game or even just, you know, looking at the scoreline, you can just assume a team is having issues with possession uh, when you do end up with a 6-2 scoreline. So, you know, I think bouncing back from that, uh, the first two periods were really good. Uh, third period, we did a really good job of, I think, locking it down. Uh, it did mean that it was a really boring period uh, on my behalf because we were, you know, doing a really good job of stopping Perth from getting chances, but also in doing that, we weren't really taking offensive risks ourselves, yeah. which means we weren't getting opportunities. So I was just kind of sitting there twiddling my thumbs uh, for a large portion of that, uh, wanting someone to do anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, a really good game, I think, particularly uh, coming back from last night and kind of showing uh, that resilience as they bounce back. Yeah, absolutely. Alrighty, Lisa. Well, I'll let you go, and I'll get on um, Rob Hazelhurst from Perth Thunder. Have a chat. Awesome. Thanks for having Thanks me. Thanks, Alyssa. Well, that was Alyssa Longmuir. Uh, Alyssa does a lot of stats work um, with the AI. Well, with the North Stars, and um, she's done a lot for the AIHL. And we're going to get Rob Hazelhurst on now and have a bit of a chat with him. Hey, Rob, how's it going? Thanks. How are you? I'm good. So yeah, not quite the um, result you guys wanted tonight, but. Um, can you run us through what was going on out there? Like maybe where where it might not have worked for you guys? Yeah, well, like we flew in. Uh, we are, our flight was at like 4:30 in the morning yesterday, yeah. like the Saturday before the Bears. So we like like That's obviously brutal. no sleep there. Then go right to the rink on on Saturday, and then uh, we had two guys get suspended. So yeah. uh, like 
yeah, playing a lot of minutes yesterday and then playing a lot of minutes today, like you could just see the guys were really burnt out. Like, yeah. Yeah, the leg, the legs just weren't there. Like we, we really like the first period we kind of stuck with with Newcastle, but you could see, yeah, just our legs weren't there and they they were and they're a good team. I'm not taking anything away from their yeah. wins for sure. Like you know, they have sick imports, sick local players. So it's you know. When when you have a tired team playing as a good team, like that happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's yeah. So, but um, the second period there, there was a lot happening. Um, Kevin on the board there, but the North Stars were just able to sort of get back another couple of goals. And um, yeah, but you guys really fought in the third there. There was a, like not much happening goal wise. Just a lot of back and forth. Really, sort of yeah, yeah like trying your, your absolute best. Yeah, we just we had to show a little bit of pride. <laughs> like you're down five one, so going into the third yeah. period, like in the room, it was just like. Doesn't even matter if we lose or win. Like, let's just yeah. not embarrass ourselves here. And like, <laughs> at least in the third period, I feel like we did that. But, yeah. yeah. Well, I Tori and I were talking. Um, despite the scoreline, like it's sort of when there there is a quite a difference in the score, you'll see the t other opposing team get really frustrated and start taking some penalties. But you guys kept it a really low penalty game. Yeah. I saw you in the box there having a mad chat with um, Liam and Waring though. Yeah. yeah I, was, I was asking him to go. He didn't want to. He was too afraid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Man. He's a great guy. So. Anybody in the box to be, be stuck with is a good conversation. Like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I saw I you having a, a little bit of a chat with a couple of the boys out there, which oh. is always nice. You can just catch up. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. It's, it's all good, guys. Like, you play hard against each other, but, you know, like, you know, at the end of the day, like, it doesn't really matter who wins or who loses. Like, yeah. we're, we're going to be buddies for life. So yeah. it's, it's good to have those friendships that, yeah, yeah. you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm, obviously, I'm, I'm staying in Newcastle as well until Wednesday. Oh, I'm cool. Going up on a surf trip up to Old Bar uh, with, oh, the, nice. like, Banga and, uh, and Frankie. Oh, nice. Um, like, yeah. Miles, who runs. Uh, the uh, learn to surf Newcastle. Newcastle. Yeah, like me and him Aww. hung out all the time last year, so we've, <laughs> I've had it marked down. And then uh, Craig, Craig Tonks, obviously, um, yeah. crank and hockey. Uh, he's coming too. So and then uh, voice Lynn, trip. <laughs> yeah, Lyndon Lodge and Kieran Webster are staying too. So Aww, we've got a cool. got a house right on the beach. Uh, so Aww. we're going to go up tomorrow morning and uh, have a good time. I'm I'm very excited for it. And yeah, me and Banger were roommates last year, so yeah, yeah I, I love Aww, that guy. Awesome. So good to spend a couple of days with him yeah well and then oh um you've got a run at um adelaide coming up you've got your four games against adelaide coming up in consecutive weekends oh do i didn't even yeah, i knew yeah. that i had the next week i didn't know it was the next week yeah after that, and the so. well that's what tori tells me okay, but yeah. yeah so oh that's that's a nice break in the schedule for us we really need that especially having canberra like four out of yeah. five games or something just before like Canberra's so good. They're they're gonna kill it this year for sure. Yeah. Like you guys saw it yesterday. Yeah, you know, like absolutely. they're just another level, really. So it's it's good to have yeah. those four games out of the way and have, yeah. have Adelaide, which will uh, you know be a better matchup for us. Yeah, I, absolutely. I Is it, how long does it take you to get to Adelaide? Uh, we leave. It's not that long. We we leave in uh, in the morning, like Saturday morning, but we only have to leave at like eight or nine. So it's a lot better than leaving at four in the morning yeah, trying to go to Sydney. Four so. o'clock in the, my mind isn't isn't a time. Uh, <laughs> I, I was I was in struggle town. I have to admit, but that's all right. Yeah. And the worst thing was there was all these extra seats, but they're the economy X. So we all went and lay down, and they kicked us out because you have to spend extra money on them. <laughs> so there was like all these lay down spots, and we're just looking at them like, please, like, just please. break the bend the rules once for us. But that's all right. I had a little cuddle with Lyndon Lodge, so it's all right. <laughs> Alrighty, Rubble. Thank you so much for joining us, yeah. and we'll let you go. And I hope you have a great time on your your surf trip. Yeah, no, thank you. It's no been worries. really exciting. So oh, awesome. Yeah, have a good one, and thank hey, you yeah, so much for everything. No worries. I'll catch you next time. Yeah, see you soon. Alrighty, we're gonna get uh, Ben Briol on now, but that was Rob Hazelhurst from. Uh, Perth Thunder. <laughs> no, I'm going to get Ben on. Hey, Mo's all ready for a chat. I'm going to get Ben on, have a bit of a chat. Hey, Ben. How's it going? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, there you go. There you go. Excellent. Oh. All these all these North Stars boys ready to jump on. I'll get you in here first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, Rob and I was just having a, a nice little chat just about, you know, the game tonight. Um, you guys had a brutal weekend, just like, you know, you, you said you have to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to fly out. And then, yeah, two big games and, um, yeah, just a bit t bit tired out there. Would that be your assessment or, you yeah, know? No, I would say if, if that was the case, I'd say they were looking for excuses, to be honest with you. But um, yeah. I think uh, it's all, it is it is hard physically to, yeah. to do such a road trip, um, but... Um, there are other teams in the league that do that when they come to Perth as well and have to play a doubleheader and stuff. Um, so it's not really an excuse. I think uh, I think this weekend was just uh, an example of uh, us collapsing at certain moments of the game. Okay, like yep. uh, yesterday, uh, big collapse in the third period when we were up by three goals. Um, next thing you know, it's not just one goal against. It turns out into yeah. three. And then next thing you know, we're tied up in the third. 
and kind of losing that that uh, that lead. And then uh, tonight, another meltdown. Um, so I think we're just having some really bad beats in the games, and that's what's killing us at the yeah. moment. And uh, yeah. Well, it, and it's not like you really. Watching you out there, it's not like you uh, did anything in particular to say, oh, I'm giving up on this game, it's now this. Like, you guys still try to really stick with the North Stars. And as I was saying to Hamer, even when they, the game sort of, uh, the North Stars had more goals, you didn't get more physical, you didn't draw more penalties, you still stayed out of the penalty box to really help your chances to stay in the game. So it's really commendable to do that because I know how frustrating it can get out there and you start drawing those penalties. But, yeah, you guys really didn't. Yeah, no, we were definitely more disciplined than yesterday, although I don't like talking about refereeing, but, um, yeah, you know. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was a little bit better and um, we did... We were a little bit more disciplined, I yeah. guess, yeah, but um, it's more we need to we need to learn how to play with each other. Yeah. And I think we're at a point in the season where um, to, to be totally fair with the, with the, with the, our team and, and the way that things are going is um, we've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, um, you can tell. And that's what I just told the boys after the game uh, tonight is that, you know, we come into the game and we play, a you know, Newcastle has a pretty physical team and they yeah. play within their systems and I think JFK has been doing a tremendous job with uh, guiding those yeah. guys in the right direction and, and, and having them play together. I think that is probably at the moment our biggest issue yeah. is that um, we're not, uh, and this is goes from top to bottom yeah. on the on the roster, we're not uh, playing together I think so. Uh, and that's the honest truth yeah. and, and that's what I tell the guys and, and uh, for people that know hockey, um, you know, you can tell. Yeah. Um, and it's it, it goes from everybody. We do need a contribution from everybody. And uh, uh, there's there's little things that we really need to start yeah. working on. Um, hopefully it's not too late. Um, I think a lot of people say that we did have a, a rough start to the season uh, with in terms of scheduling. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, perhaps true. But at the end of the day, like, we, we kind of control uh, our own style yeah. of play. And uh, so, anyways, we've got two weeks that we're playing Adelaide. Yep. Um, they're in the gutter at the moment, but uh, it's a team that uh, will show up to play some, some yep. good hockey. So we do have, uh, we do have two weeks to uh, kind of well, hopefully uh, put ourselves back in the, yeah. in, in the game in terms of the, the ladder and stuff. So, um, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, well, there's still plenty of season to go. Like, we're now just in that second half, so it can still be anyone's game. Yeah, well, the guys are still... Uh, staying positive, yep. uh, which is a really good thing. Um, yeah. But, you know, we'll go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see how you we'll go. We'll go back home tomorrow, and then we will reassess things yeah. in practice on Tuesday and Thursday, and yeah. hopefully uh, comes the weekend, uh, we can uh, turn the uh, turn the page around. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, yeah, no worries, we'll for having let me. you get home. We're like, yeah, yeah you got to, I expect to fly out now, or we, do you go back to Sydney? Or Yeah, we're going back to Sydney at the moment, and then we're going to take a 7.30 flight in the morning, so... Oh. Good times. Oh, brutal. <laughs> so looking forward to it. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you so yeah. much, Ben. I'll catch you later. Cheers. That was Ben Biel from the uh, Perth Thunder, and uh, we're going to get Hamish Powell on from the Newcastle North Stars. Have a bit of a chat with Hamo. Here he comes. Wearing his footy shorts. <laughs> hey, Hamo. G'day. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, good, thank you. I saw you were like keen and cranking to get on. Yeah, no, getting ready to go. Pull this up a little bit so we can hear you. A little bit higher. There we go. Maybe that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if you want to hear me. Yeah, so. we do. Of course we do. That's why you're on here. Yeah, of course. So, yeah, you're a bit of a presence out there tonight, really throwing your weight around. Yeah, no. That's, uh, <laughs> Did you have a rocket up your butt or what? No, I think everyone was pretty keen to get yeah. out there tonight, so sort of prove something from yeah. yesterday. Um, no one was happy with that performance, yeah. like, uh, yeah, especially, yeah, from, yeah, a whole whole, whole yeah. team uh, sort of perspective we all wanted to improve so um, I think we did that I want to talk to you a little bit about losing mm -hmm. so the past two seasons for the North you've been with the North Stars for ages mm -hmm. so you've been there for the winning times and you've been there the past two seasons like 17, 18 that were fairly tough yep. back on the winning streak now and you've just got the two losses are the losses this year do they feel different from the past years? Um, in a way um I think you feel them a little bit more because you do get used to winning. Yeah, okay. um, so, especially if we if we put our full effort in and we yep. lose, we're obviously going to be disappointed. Yep. But um, it's not the end of the world. Yesterday, I think a lot of the boys um, sort of felt that we didn't play our best game. Yep. So that's why um, after the game we sort of had to reassess yep. and 
but we knew we knew we knew we could match those yeah. guys. We just yeah we didn't have our best game yesterday. So um, the losses this year, they're um, obviously it is tough when we have a loss, yep. but. Um, I think we've got a really strong group who sort of come back and um, just yeah take it day by day, which is good. Because you might have had you had like um, a string of losses last year, mm -hmm. I assume that it'd be quite you know uh, a bit of a, a dash on the, the confidence. But this year, when you lose, would you would you say this is a fair assessment? And you can say I'm wrong, but would it be fair to say that you still have the confidence there? You know you can rebound and you know put in the work and, and get back on the winning streak. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, Apart from, uh, I guess, yesterday's loss, all our, all our games, yeah. they've been quite tired, yeah. so we've been in them, and um, even yesterday, we were in it till probably the second period, and we just mm -hmm. had a few laps of the judgment there, um, which might have cost us, mm -hmm. but um, no, we, yeah, we, we still do have that confidence, which is good. Um, I think, yeah, everyone's got confidence in each other, mm -hmm. and we've uh, got three strong lines, which is really helping, yeah. and usually we grind teams down at the end, mm -hmm. and um, that just didn't happen yesterday, yeah. but... It's saying that it is good to get some losses, so it's good to have those feelings that you don't want to go through the whole season yeah. and just be up, 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 up. It's good to have those feelings yeah. and just sort of know. Keep you humble. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Keep you hungry. So, and uh, I think that's, we showed that today. So, yeah. um, I think today we came out and played one of our more complete games, yeah. which is good. Um, from first to third line, we all sort of came out and um, did our job, which is great. Well, yeah, from a spectator's per, uh, perspective, like, you guys were vocal out there, you were communicating with you, and just your passes, they were mm. connecting. Yep. You guys seemed to be a little bit more aware of where each other were. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was really great seeing you, seeing you out there and um, scoring goals and getting the win again. Yeah, no, it was really good. And that was one of our focuses. Um, uh, a lot more vocal than yesterday and just uh, getting those passes. Yeah. I guess everyone everyone had that week off last week, but um, just seeing yesterday, we sort of didn't bounce back maybe as well as we should have. Yeah, so. yeah. But no, we did and, um, yeah, how great was it seeing Jaden get his first oh, AOH? Unreal, <laughs> hey, unreal. No, I think was, he was uh, pretty stoked. It was great. I didn't know it was his first, actually. I yeah. thought he got one earlier in the season. But, um, yeah, when I saw him sell, I was like, oh, yeah, it must have been his first. So, <laughs> it was no, well, de awesome. well deserved. He's played really well all year. Yeah. and. Um, yeah, he's, he's slotted in wherever he needs to, and uh, yeah, he's a solid player and he's great yeah. addition, so it's awesome. That's brilliant. Yeah. Alrighty, well, <laughs> they're telling me to keep going, keep going. I think we're trying to get Jaden. He must be down oh, there. Oh, haven't you had him yet? Ah. No, he was running around. All right, Damo. <laughs> What else is going on out there today? Yeah, not a lot. Well, actually, here was, here's one. You've yep. got the Sydney Ice Dogs coming up next yep. weekend. Uh, it was a really tough game with them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, yeah, like tough, tight physical game mm -hmm. uh, last time. So, yeah, what's on um, the plan of attack this time around? Um, it's always tough. Ice Dogs, um, you always sort of look on the calendar and sort of mark those ones off because they <laughs> are going to be yeah, it's sort of a bit of a grudge match. So. Um, they are always physical, but um, yeah, just keep it simple. That's all, that's all we're doing this year, keeping it simple, rolling our three lines yep. and um, yeah, just just trying to yeah, just trying to put that energy and bring that energy back in yeah. and get two two solid practices this week and um, yeah, get you ready for Saturday. Yeah, so, absolutely. You know, should be good. <laughs> I think they're still waiting. Keep going. Keep, keep going. going. What got else any, do you want to talk got about? Got any jokes? No, I don't have any jokes. Nothing. nothing. How, how are the Raiders going? Yeah, good this year actually. <laughs> no, pretty hey, good. Mad Raiders fan. Yeah, State of Origin tonight, so that's yeah. good. Seven fifty, so we'll get down to the pub and uh, watch that. Why is that tonight? Yeah, oh, Sunday tonight. night, State of Origin. So, no, good night of good night of uh, sport tonight. So, now we'll hop down and uh, hopefully New South Wales can win. So, yeah, hopefully. Yeah. Fingers crossed. We'll see this how we go. Is the second game? Yeah, second game oh. in Perth. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I didn't know this. Yeah, the big stadium this. there. So yeah. should be good. Should be really good. <laughs> we just oh. like moved from hockey to yeah, <laughs> to, to footy. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Just got the whole way along. So yeah. no, cool. but um, no, no Jado. No Jado. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll get you back, Tori. Come and have a chat. Yeah, you're more interesting than me for sure. He's in the shower. He's in the shower. He's in the shower. Doesn't matter. Just get him in anyway. Just, so rude. just pull him out. Get him out. Yeah, even so. bring him up in the yeah, tower. I just want to yeah. talk about his first goal. Yeah, no, we'll yeah. get him in there. No. <laughs> Actually, here's something for you, Hamo. Mm -hmm. So I was saying to Tori before, it was uh, one goal mm -hmm. in the first and third. All the goals came in the second. Mm -hmm. I always find that they're usually the other way around. Lots mm -hmm. of goals either like in the first and third. Mm -hmm. What's what happening in that second period? With I don't know. We sort of... Um, just one of those periods. Yeah, obviously went up 1-0 in the first, which is good. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know... Um, Trying to think, a few power plays in there yep. which helped. Um, just always depends uh, who's in the power play, and um, yeah, we just I guess we just came out a little bit stronger. We probably could add a few more in the third there, a um, few, few missed opportunities, but um, no, yeah, it was just a strong second yeah. period, which was really good. And uh, <laughs> hey, Shane. And um, another thing I've noticed as well is the goalies seem a lot more active this year. Mm -hmm. They're coming out of their creases. They're like they're really passing mm -hmm. around. 
Is that different for you guys, or you know? No, it's good. It's yeah. good. Yeah, we're uh, have a player out there. Have yeah, it's always good having that. Uh, I guess that six passing option. If the yeah. if the goal can come out, get get that early puck, especially as a forward. Um, and I know the D love it because it means they don't have to go in and sort of, uh, <laughs> yeah, if the, if the goal can stop that puck and stop them having to go in a sort of awkward position in the corner, it's great. Yeah. But um, no, yeah, they've been really active this year. Dana's done a great job trapping yeah. that when it's getting rimmed around. Yeah. So it no, definitely helps us out a lot. Yeah, it's great. absolutely. All righty. I think I'm going to wrap this up with you yeah, now. Yeah, I think you probably had you me long had enough. Yeah, had me long enough. Yeah, I'll probably, get Tori yeah, back. Probably yeah. smelling <laughs> a bit fresh right now. So <laughs> You're fine. Thank you very much. No worries. See you, hey, mate. Bye-bye. That was Hamish Powell. We were waiting for uh, Jade and Ryan to have a chat. But, um, no, we'll get you back, Tori. Oh, wait, no, he's coming, he's coming. Sorry, guys. We always try and have them up here. I'm going to yell at him. No, I'm joking. We get Jaden on now. Jaden, where have you been? I need to have a shower. Oh, no. Come and sit down. All right. I had to talk with Hamo about everything under the sun, including the Raiders. Sorry, yeah, that must be boring. <laughs> yeah, well, we're talking about Origin as well. That's on tonight. Yeah, pub's going to be pumping. Yeah, I think uh, Queensland's going to get it done though. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah. Controversial. Controversial. Yeah. Joking. So yeah, you got you had a pretty good game tonight. Um, first AHL goal. Was yeah, uh, yeah, for the North Stars it was. Yeah, for the North Stars it was. Yeah, it was good to get that one. Uh, can uh, stop worrying so much now. So yeah, <laughs> uh, felt good. So. Yeah, whole yeah. monkey off the back sort of situation. Yeah, definitely. Get it done. Mm, yeah. yeah. But yeah, run us through. You you looked absolutely stoked when it happened. Your face is like, what is happening here? Yes, this is great. Yeah. Um, well, I've had that play initially yeah. and I gave it back door to Bangs and then <laughs> um, he just gave me another pass and yeah. it just fell right in the yeah. middle there and I was all alone. So I just uh, went to the net and yeah, yeah put it in the, and the rest is history yeah. and just celebrating. So yeah, it was good. Uh, all happened really quick, but... Yeah, it was awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Jaden. I don't think I've caught up with you um, since the beginning of the season. Tell us a little bit about your hockey career. Yeah, uh, so I started playing inline hockey first mm -hmm. uh, watching from watching the Mighty Ducks. That's mm -hmm. how it all started. A couple of birthday yep. parties <laughs> and it's probably pretty much everyone's story, right? Yep, I was going to um, say those Mighty Ducks are really influential. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, I played for Blacktown Flyers growing up. Yep. Uh, played a bit of state mm -hmm. uh, for both inline and ice hockey. And then... Played East Coast for a bit, mm -hmm. played for the Bears one year, mm -hmm. and back to East Coast. And then, um, yeah, Johnny just asked me if I wanted to try out, and the rest has just been uh, history. Yeah. And I've just been uh, taking it game by game. So yeah, How are you fun. enjoying playing for the North Stars? Uh, it's been really fun. The boys are great. Yeah. Um, training twice a week is awesome, twice, two games. And, mm -hmm. like, uh, Gary looks after us pretty good too. So, yeah, it's been unreal. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so you've, we're in the second half of the season now. Tell us a little bit about... The first half for you and your perspective, because you've played with another AIHL team before. Um, you weren't sort of with us in the, the, the tougher years. You're in a winning year, which is probably a really good time to be on the team. But yeah, what's it like in the in the change room? What's the what's the atmosphere like around the team? Uh, everyone's like happy with each other. Everyone's buzzing. Uh, mm. Last night was a bit tough, so yeah. but uh, it was good to get back in that winning uh, atmosphere there, mm. and everyone got to have a bit of fun after the game. Mm -hmm. Do the um, the team song, team win song, so yeah. that was always good. Um, but yeah, like I guess yeah, I wasn't around for those hard years that you guys would have all went through. But I think every team does, and it goes to show, I guess, like the Aussie talent coming through mm. makes such yeah. a difference. Like you can't just rely on your imports, even though we do. Yeah. Like they're great. So um, you've got to find a balance. Yeah. And I think now that we have with JFK behind the bench with our Razor and Joey, it's, mm. everything's just clicking. Yeah. Well, as I, I have spoken with JFK about this, it's not just the imports that are, you know, producing the goals. It's an all-round team effort. Like, yeah, definitely. Paddy Naden's out there. They're really strong. Um, you've got you, obviously. Um, who else scored tonight? No, but, yeah, Bert, Bert's out oh, there. Yeah, Richie. Bert's unreal. Yeah, like, yeah. so it's an all-round team effort. Everyone's out there giving a go. And like you said, um, JFK was saying before, you can't just rely on a couple of people to, you know, get the job done. Yeah, no. So, yeah, all-around team effort. Yeah, definitely. It's been good. You get the uh, the game puck tonight? Uh, I got that one just for the one I scored on. Oh, so, yeah, yeah um, put that one in the mantelpiece in with the, mantel the other piece. ones. Yeah, <laughs> In the pool room? Yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Alrighty, well, I'll leave you to it. Get to the pub and we'll go watch your origin. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Jaden. No problem. Catch Thanks you later. Me. That was Jaden Ryan from the Newcastle North Stars just having a chat. He scored his first goal for the North Stars, not the AHL, as I was saying. So, yeah, for the North Stars, we get Tori back. Hey, Tori. Hello. How's it going? Good. You That's had some good, good chats? I had some really good chats. Um, yeah, with 
Rob and Ben from um, Perth Thunder just having a chat about their season. They know what they need to work on and it's just, yeah, teamwork, like, you know, the team connecting. So, yeah, they're going to, you know, try and work on that before they have a double run at Adelaide. (laughs) And, um, yeah, Hamer and um, Hamer's feeling really good about this season. Yeah. Yeah, really positive. Because I was talking to him about, you know, he was here for the – those two seasons where things were not going the North Stars way to being back in the winner's circle. And he said, you know, those those two losses were probably harder than all the other losses in the other two seasons because you really get used to, to winning, but it makes you hungrier. So, yeah, definitely. Yeah, absolutely. And they're ready for Sydney Ice Dogs next weekend. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll be back uh, next Saturday, June 29. Um, Canada it, Day? Yep, Canada Day. Anyone who is coming to the game, uh, red, wear your red and white colours because, yeah, we'll be ha- Canada Day themed. Um, for anyone who's not, to tune in and watch North Stars Live. We'll be back. Yes, and I just wanted to do a quick shout-out to my uh, good friends in Perth that are, are watching at the moment. Oh. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and uh, we'll leave you until next time.